Captain's Log 6969. I've entered a strange podcast feed on the return from Warp Drive. The crew and I will have to investigate matters further. I overheard something pertaining to McFarland screwing up my amazing likeness. I'm not sure what the color tops is, but I sure don't want my face to look like Michael Myers. I will shoot a baseball bat right up your ass, McFarland. Now, time for the other captain's log. <laughs> The ATM Podcast Show is rated M for Mature and D for Toys. Yeah. Good morning, Momos. It's time for All Up in Your Grill Podcasting with your host, Doom and Mark. Tired of those boring podcasts with nothing funny to say? Don't count on that here. Clean the wax out of your ear, bitches. Now let's start the show. Welcome, everybody, to the Action Toy R podcast, the podcast that continues to think that they can gain all the recognition and all the prowess that they once had back in one fell swoop, and that's this week, because this week, we're going to care just a little bit more. We know we've dragged you along this road for a little while where it seemed like we didn't care, but we're back. We're going to try to make the best podcast we possibly can for you guys. Because we I'm, care, Dreadnoughts. Absolutely. So, I am your host for the evening. I am also joined by a whole slew of a bunch of people. We have Mark again. We have Eric Plays. We have... The, we have Koji. We have fucking uh, everybody on. We have Shark Dave. We have Dave. these damn toys. We have the one cam. We have Shark Man Dave. And we have Eric Plays, of course. Yeah. So thank you guys for joining us. And lenses us. on figures. And lenses. Jeez. If you're not introduced, <laughs> just tell us you're on the That's podcast. So. Absolutely. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the ride. And we are going to continue because it is time to get into some of the new figures and things that we saw on Instagram. First of all, we got some images here which look crazy amounts like it's a Hot Toys. So we have the Batman from the brand new Justice League movie. This is the Mezco 112 scale figure. Eric, is this going in the collection? Dude, I'm not sure. I'm, I was like, what is this? This is the new fucking Mezco or a custom? Justice League stealth suit Batman. <laughs> right. Uh, it looks great. Um, I don't know if it's going to go in my collection, though. Mm. Anybody oh. thinking about picking this one up? Who is it? If it ever comes out. <laughs> Justice League. Some stealth of the figures Batman. come out. No, but who's it by? This is Mezco 112. Mezco, eh? Okay. So it That's will a be... hard pass for me, Dreadnoughts. I mean, it if, it, if it comes with an alternate head with, like, no goggles, maybe some other stuff, I don't know. I might be interested, but it's right. got to be it's the pretty, right price. And... It's pretty scene-specific, too. Yeah. Very cool-looking. Looks like a Hot Toys, but... Unfortunately, I see her on the podcast. Uh, most of us are going to be passing on this. So, yeah. One thing I have known I've been waiting for for quite a long time here. Clockwork Orange, Alex, by Mafex. They told us they were going to make this. Now there's a pre-order. The only thing I see being the problem is $95. Mark, you passing up on this one or what? So I was going to pass on this when it was $95 on Big Bad Toy Store, but I started searching around. I went to some import sites, so I grabbed it on AmiYami, and I was able to get it for the small 65 So I'm going to pick it up for 65 bucks from AmiYami. I think you get more bang for your buck, well, you still and it'll probably come a little 12, bit earlier than still Big Bad. You still got to pay $12 to get it shipped, though, right? I am cool with that because I ordered some other stuff, so I'm going to have a pile of loot stashed up. And uh, get it all shipped at once. I, I can't wait for that. I've been waiting my entire life for an Alex DeLarge figure. So right. the I fact mean, that no finally more, no we have a Kubrick, really good articulated Alex DeLarge, this is a win for the toy community. Because, I mean, uh, I am kind of curious though, if, if you get a second one and then maybe even like – because I know Start if you have the if, – well, if you have the Legends um, – What's his name? Fucking, I know Mark has the figure. He has a bowler hat in the in the legend scale. The one of the uh, the shield soldiers. Oh, um, dum -dum yeah, right. Dum Dum Dugan. Yeah. Dum -dum. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe you could do some customizing. At least make another one. Obviously, you couldn't make the you know Georgie boy. He was a little he was a little chunky. Um, 
but super cool. You get the eyeballs on the sleeves. You get uh, the mask that he wore, which has the elongated nose. You get the uh, dagger, and uh, you get a glass okay. of milk. From the Milocco ball, you get his bowler hat. The bowler hat is connected to the mask, it looks like. so. And then you get two canes. So, or well, the one cane is because you can remove the blade from the cane. Okay. So super yeah. cool set. And it looks like we get a few different face plates on it. So there's a serious face. There's one that's smiling. There's one that's snarling. I mean, yeah. it's got everything you want. These are... He did a really good job with whoever was the sculptor for this, and then these will well, be printed we'll, on. We'll see. They, we'll uh, see. They do like an ink transfer on all the faces, so this the face will be pretty squared up the way we're seeing it now. Huh. This will look really good. So we also see that they do now have a RoboCop, so I am very curious to see what scale this actually ends up being in because the only other figure we have seen is from NECA. Sharkman, mm -hmm. what are you thinking about this one? Not bad, not bad. The NECA one that you're talking about, that's the one where it was like the kind of the uh, the mix between the exoskeleton and stuff? Well, they've done several actually of the NECA ones. I mean, even actually, well, there is a well, there is an old like stuff, McFarlane right? actually as well, to be honest. Yeah. Those are okay, all those more are all recent. That's There's a Figma one as well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ooh, yeah, there is a Figma. Right, yeah. Ah. So, no, I dig this. I dig this figure for sure. Um, I like the alternate heads. I've, sucks I've been we don't get no Berg. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you should see the face. I remember I had the classic figure where you could alternate the chest plates with um, yeah. Oh, yeah. the bullet yeah. holes, and then it also had the yeah the visible the visible face as well. That yeah, yeah you could always pull off the helmet, which is so cool. Yeah, that was like the best, man. And the helmet fit perfectly too. It didn't look obnoxious right. or anything yeah. on there, so it was a fucking that was a dope ass figure, but. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited for this, man. I wouldn't mind, uh, trying to get RoboCop back in action for some fucking photos, right. man. That'd be dope. Yuzuki, yeah. what are you feeling about this? You, uh, are you into RoboCop at all? Oh man, I'm digging it actually. Um, I used to have the Hot Toys version and these pics look really close to that. Right. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. The Hot Toys is super fucking mixed stacks. Yeah. Detailed as fuck. I'm digging it. Right. Koji, you feeling the same way? Oh, absolutely. That looks like a... Like a mini Hot Toys, it helps yeah. that it's a robot suit, so you can right. have the, the joints and the articulation. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet right there. That's what wow. This is that's another. That's really good. It comes another, with a yeah. battle damage helmet and chest plate. So yeah, this is another you know seventy to ninety dollar figure depending on where you're gonna choose it from. So yeah, is this a little well, too? I think sci this is worth it. Is a little too sci-fi for you there, Nick? I don't know, man. <laughs> I can see myself picking this up possibly. <laughs> right. We'll nice. Yeah, it's Mafex. You'd kill it with this, Nick. Absolutely, Nick. Yeah. Get some ideas. So we see that there is a person here on Instagram. Nate is Art Warunga Wellingam. Art of Warunga. No, no, no. Art of oh, War. Barrel is on, actually. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait, say it again. Say it again. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Oh, it is Art of War. He's got no underscores or no one of that fucking shit on there. Oh. <laughs> to, like, differentiate the words. Art of War. <laughs> An Awelling Game. An Awelling Game. An Awelling Gamage. <laughs> yeah, like, everybody knows what that word is. Suck a dick. Well, yeah. Anyway... <laughs> Very talented artist here who has a very, very close likeness to Tom Welling here, who was Clark Kent from the Smallville TV series. This is going to be in a one-sixth scale. So if you guys are looking for a Tom Welling in the one-sixth scale, are obviously hit up this person. <laughs> if you can uh, find them. This is 3D printed too, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So you might have to paint it. We're not sure if he paints. Um, so definitely hit him up. If you can't find the account, hit one of us up. We'll see if we can send it to you if you have, if we were unclear about this person's name. Anyway, moving along. Or check us out on YouTube. We have a very large Godzilla figure here. I believe oh, this is shit. in the SH Figure Arts. So this is a scale of some of their lines or i'm not sure if this is supposed to be like the movie 
too. So in this world, he would be this size. I'm not sure if that's like I don't. I doubt that this is how much bigger the figure is. You know, than no, no, those no. other ones. So this no. is obviously the you know. So this is a Netflix part thing that we had uh, discovered here. So go ahead and go to the next photo, and this one basically is. Wow, the figure. So cool. wow. wow! Look how ripped he is. Damn! Super Holy cool. Shit. It looks Pretty epic. cool, man. That's a great sculpt. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's got tons of joints. It looks yeah. like it's got like full neck movement, the mouth, the shoulders. It's got swivels. It's got, man, it looks real good. Bunch of the spikes texture. on the back. Look at they made a, an Amazon like jungle or something scene. The sick That's dio. Really great. <laughs> Eric's already passed. Wow. They're like, see, what can I do? What can I do now? <laughs> no, no, no. This is really cool. And this in the is comments. Really great. Here it says it's from Godzilla Planet of Monsters, the first part of a Netflix trilogy coming out. Oh, okay. so uh, That's what I look forward to this is going to be really cool. Another cool iteration of Godzilla. You can't go wrong with that shit, in my opinion. Absolutely, no, hell no. This is oh, fucking no. dope. That shit does not get old. No, start man. Like your dios, boys. Dude, look at that dial too. You start it's getting into perfect. the small, and that's not too big either, right? That's only like. A few feet across. That's a small. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a small smaller figure. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we have Barrel Murado has joined the cast. Oh, always oh. on time. Prompt Barrel Murado. <laughs> Never tardy <laughs> Barrel Murado. Hey, I got, I got fucking life shit going on. I got here, life bro. shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got life, here. bro. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we don't, we don't, have, red light we don't have life. On the way over. <laughs> We don't have lives. Don't worry about us. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I got. I know you got lives. I, know, I got live shit going. I don't. I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna have to like stop here and then switch to another phone in a little bit. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the info. <laughs> Savagely. On I'll time. make note of that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just, just a heads up. <laughs> and now we know. Right. So loyal. The royal subject is throwing their lines into the horror verse. We had seen oh, some TMNT yeah. versions of figures like these. I know for sure Brian Lyon, a.k.a. Dark Worm, is all about these figures. Um, they're kind of stylized, but they do have points of articulation, so they do move. There's a loyal subject figures. So we have three different versions of Freddy. We have three versions of Jason, and we have three versions of Pennywise It. So there's a Dr. Freddy. There's a couple expression face ones. One has the, you know, do you lift, you know, with the soles on the chest. We have the bag head, which we previously discussed from part two. Um, and then there's two versions of the Pennywise, and one is a spider. Um, let's see. Beryl, are you picking these up? Are these getting weed in their hands? <laughs> do they move? They move, yeah. These got articulation. I don't know. I'd have to see somebody with them first. Yeah, I'd have <laughs> to see somebody. <laughs> <laughs> He's Eric, on the fence. He's what do you think, Eric? Yeah. What do you think, Eric? These two stylized for you? Um, I'm really curious as to the scale, to be honest. These are yeah. about four or five inches. Yeah, they're going to be like Playmates Ninja Turtle scale, sort of. And it looks like they probably have five, at least five points Absolutely. of articulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are going to be cool for yourself, man. I, I would totally get at least, like, all the main characters. Right. I'm at least maybe getting, not all the variants, but... Right. I'm at least getting one, one of, of the... Each, I'll yeah. get one of the Freddies if I like it a lot. I right. might get Dr. Freddy because I do love me some... It's so I weird. think those Pennywise will be golden. They might yeah. be. Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah, those are cool. I can see... And what's the other one? Is the other one... Uh, uh... Oh, that's just a spider? I thought it was... That spider's thing. what it becomes. <laughs> right. It, well... Remember they stab him and his heart yeah, lights uh, on the bottom. No, I'm like looking at it from far away and I thought it was the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, like John Carpenter right. went in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. But these oh are called boy. Kids of Elm Street? The series might be, well, it wouldn't make sense that they would be called Kids of Elm Street. Nerdcollectibles.com. Oh, that is just the, that's just the page that's posting this. But these are loyal subject figures. I don't know what the series that's is called, good. unfortunately. So maybe more details soon when Big Bad maybe puts them up. They look cool. Yeah. Super cool. So we see that there is some in-package for the Borderlands by McFarlane color tops. I know that some of you out there still have your NECA figures. <clears throat> Me and Eric. Um, so <laughs> not sure if we're going to incorporate these. I already know Eric's balls deep in buying these. 
Is there anybody else? Raise your hand if anybody else is actually interested. Raise in your I don't have cameras on, buddy. I'm joking. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Joking. He's, he's, a, he's a freaking joke. He's a freaking clown. <laughs> I'll take, that, I'll take that as a no. No one's buying these. Damn you, McFarlane. No. Nobody wants to buy your shit. Sorry. Well, it looks like he can uh, grab his own dick, though. That one guy. Yeah, he can totally. He's already scratching. Got, he's, like, he's like, I got you, McFarlane, right here. <laughs> I got you, McGuffin, right here. He does. It looks like he's uh, definitely ready to scratch and grab. <laughs> All right, so we see oh. that we have some Deadpool in the samurai garb. Yes. Very, That's very cool. Realization. So movie realization for the SH figure arts line. <laughs> These run a little bit big. It does look like he has like clothy pants, maybe a little bit going on there, but yeah, that does not I mean... look like sculpting. These these go on the seven inch mark. I don't really think that's too big, in my opinion. That's oh, nice. I mean, it's just it's big for SH figure arts. Most people that buy these that don't have these, I don't want them to think they're getting yeah. like I don't want them to think they're getting the Batman figure. No, you know? different line, Bandai still, but just different line. Right. right? So I don't have any of these, and fuck. Oh, so man, these are Bandai good. Tamashi movie realization. These are fucking dope. They're all really good. Mm -hmm. They do look cool. So what are we looking at here? So it looks like we got like uh, some kind of a close to a sand trooper, but he's also got some heavy artillery. So he's kind of like the new take? version of the of the stormtrooper <laughs> helmets. Can you go back, Ryan, to the other ones? <coughs> I've been right, so sleeping with these guys. So, so, so we have right, the so we got the Deadpool here. So this is the Deadpool movie realization. He's kind of like in between a samurai and Deadpool and one of those Assassin's Creed kind of guys. His helmet's sort of looking Assassin's Creed-like. I don't know. I don't like the purple accents on there. What do you guys think? Mm. <laughs> I'm with yeah. you on that. I can go yeah. with the purple accents. Okay, yeah. Yeah. If you painted that, that would look better. Brown, maybe? Yeah. we got to start yeah. initiating yeah. questions to individuals. So we got a Captain Phasma going on here with the duckbill platypus going on. Mm -hmm. He's got some sidewinder action it's going a girl on. Samurai. But it's totally a girl under there, so we, we're not sure if because of the fact that this figure was actually bigger than the other figures for some reason, she was dwarfing on motherfuckers, um, what size this one will be or if it's if they even care about that aspect of it. But yeah, these look cool. So we have a, uh, a Sith Lord here. So the, wait, this one, oh, this one's got to be, uh, what's his name then? Uh, That's Kylo Ren. Yeah, Kylo Renster here. So we got Adam Driver here with some spiky hair going on who's, there. And who's shaking around some plastic? Turn off your microphone. <laughs> He's shaking. That's me like, rolling a joint. <laughs> <laughs> he said shaking plastic. That's the rap. Looks like he has a, uh, a a rug in front of him. Basically, he just grabbed the rug off the floor. He was like, you know what? I cut this a few times, and, and it didn't really bother didn't really me. Bother. Whoa! Uh oh! Now somebody got way too close to their business. Anyway, so let's move away from these. Nobody really cares. They're I think cool, these though. are cool. I'm gonna pick up a couple of these. I wish they would have stuck with the old stormtrooper helmet. I don't really like the duck bill. That's about it. All right. So we're going to Eric. Why don't you take this one? All right, we're looking at Marauder dot Rubens page on Instagram and showing off these. Um, these were announced a couple months ago. These one twelve scale, like super uh, accurate guns. So I don't even know what kind of gun we're looking at here. Oh, uh, FO six R assault rifle. But I believe these things have the clips coming out of them and buttstocks. Yeah. Interchanging butt stocks and all kinds of shit on these <laughs> weapons. Butt stock. <laughs> yeah. Dude. There was a stock of butts. Yeah, Go like back to in that butt stock of butts. Uh -huh. <laughs> there was a stock keep of, a lot of butts. butts in stock. <laughs> He's making butt okay. stock right there. What up? Turkey fryers. <laughs> I'm going to be all over this. Right. So, yeah, really awesome. 112. Yeah, they're like highly accurate. Yeah. yeah. Pretty um, cool. And removable clips, box clips, is and interchangeable parts and stuff too. That's yeah, it looks like cool looks like wow. the little uh, the little uh, you know piece for the front that would uh, tripod it is obviously So there's a tripod. Too. There's fire suppressors tripod. on them. They have the modern tripod. versions of the uh, grips. They also yeah. have ACOGs on the top of them or uh, 
or um, yeah. Red scope. Dot. They also have it looks like collapsible butt stocks, and then yeah, they have the uh, the magazine round with the drum rounds. You can actually pop off. It looks like wow. they have it painted green. They have rounds that actually feed into the uh, feeder. So That's we're, not bad. They have pistol grips on them and everything. So we're not sure if he's just going to try to sell these on the page, or is he going to do a Kickstarter, or does no. we have well, any information? I believe these are the Kickstarter line. They're doing the 118th as well for G.I. Joe scale uh, figures. <laughs> wow. um, and yeah, available on Kickstarter and shit, guys. So these are going to be... He molded them and everything. Wow, Marauder gun rudders cool. is like comparable to like the hacks kind of thing. Like really? they're they're a small group of uh, dudes doing these toys and getting these things made. That's cool, so, man. Dave. Yeah. What do you, Dave? What are you feeling about these? <laughs> How am I feeling about these? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! This is like a, a, a this is a fucking perfect arsenal of weapons for Shit, anybody. For Christ's sake! I, I mean, mean, are you are you, are, you, cool. are you are you lagging in weapons? I, no, not really. I mean, I've got a shit ton, <laughs> I've got a shit ton of weapons. Actually, I was talking to Eric about a photo idea that I had of like putting together like a, a Punisher. You know how the the intro of the Punisher show at the end of it, it's got like all the weapons going down. There's like a big glare, and it's like the, yeah. the Punisher skull. Yeah. So that I had like an idea of doing something like that, and I've got an ass ton of fucking weapons to use that for. So right. I don't know, it was something that I had kind of yeah. cooking up. Yeah, dude, look at these guns, guys. But yeah, they're super realistic, man. You can't go wrong with that. No, with the no. fucking you got a peck box on there. Like, I mean, come on. Those guns are so like nice, scope. they make the figures look like shit. Right. Yeah, <laughs> the actual figures already are shit. Look at yeah, that figures are wack. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Koji? Are you, uh, are you low on accessories for your uh, weaponry? Oh, absolutely. I was actually trying to look for some weapons for my John Wicks today, and I was a little bit lagging. It was like, then one of you Momo shared this in the group, and I was like, son of a bitch. Just yeah. in time. Especially for like modern weapons, eh, Koji? Right. Like, oh, yeah. Fucking, oh, yeah. 416 Dude, at, and like fucking. Like, I'm trying shit. to make these, but in weed form. No, nah, these are cool. Look at that, dude. He's, a soldier, pops, dude. Like, I don't have he's like, he's got, he's like, some guys have to, you know, break into the weed house sometimes, you know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I did that with Scooby and Shaggy, but you know maybe these ugly bastards with their cool guns can't. Late now. December, he's saying they're coming out. Nice. Yeah. Right. Two, week, two weeks. Two yeah, weeks. Couple, couple weeks here. So we, this is a gentleman we have talked about before. His name is Mike De La Paz. We have the Hella from the Marvel Legends on the left, standardized, wow. and then we obviously have his amazing shaded. Tones for the after effect, and then obviously a cloth cape on it. This is super fucking good work going on here. I yeah. feel like this guy is still. Yeah. This guy always too. kills it. Absolutely. So, if you guys need one of these, I'm not sure if he does any commissions of any sort, but he's making it for himself at least. So, <laughs> he might have tutorials up or something like that. Maybe he has. No, like no, I don't think he, I don't, he does actually. Oh, he, he does. Has, nice. uh, he, he has a sculpting. Um, oh, one can tutorial here. on his uh, Facebook. <laughs> and for those like wondering, like this dude is like pretty much like top ten best in the world action yeah, figure painters. One of the most legit of all time. Oh, yeah. You know five. what I mean? So top five best in the world. That's pretty fucking honorable. Remember, in my opinion. Remember that's they crazy. Do, remember they do drag queens. I've been following and watching this guy work since he's been doing those crazy oh, small. Look at this. Damn. Small damn. God damn dude. She went from ugly to less ugly. Yeah. <laughs> no, she went to, from I don't know who to Princess Leia. <laughs> I don't know who. <laughs> she went Golden from girl. Some, she went from somebody's grandmama. To... <laughs> she went from an extra to the fucking the star of the fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she starred in another movie. It was called The Afterlife. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> too soon, brother. Too soon. Wow, wow. Is it too oh soon? No, it's not too no. soon. <laughs> Fuck her. I said, oh my God. <laughs> she had every drug in her system. <laughs> she did. Right. That's, so yeah. we see that Hot Toys, after all these years, apparently now they want to make some Matrix figures. So we have Neo here in the suit when God he damn. came into the bank. And all the time that Mark lied. You're gonna get this. Lied, You're gonna get this one, Mark. Lied to all of you. He likes uh, dollies is this a doll? now. Uh, Absolutely, these are hot toys. Uh, 
So yeah, Mark, Mark likes it dollars didn't. I don't now. know if it's the if it's the picture, but it didn't kind of. The other one didn't really look like him. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it doesn't really look like him that much. I don't think it looks I like Keanu. I just like that, no. man. It's true. It's all right. Guys, think of a 112 Mezco. Right? Oh, I have. It's like yeah. a stunt double. It'd be fucking Yeah, crazy. yeah, that's exactly who it is. You morons have captured your stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> Find them! Find them! Find them! <laughs> These are pity. their stunt doubles. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? This hot Jesus, toys? The cyborg mm. from Justice League. Yikes. Yikes. This is. I so see this on Mark's shelf. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no. There's no. There's no cloth you know, on like this. My cyborg figure. It's not a doll. <laughs> there's no cloth going on this. This is absolutely. It's not a doll. I mean, it's all plastic there. Or die cast, I don't know. Who knows? Jesus, I still can't wow. believe they're Should trying to make fun. fucking vehicles for these fucking oh hot God. toys. It's ridiculous. Wow. Like your they children, your children can get into these things. Like why aren't people <laughs> like taking baby photos with their baby inside of these things? This is, like this isn't one to one scale. No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. Like the, the DeLorean they have is pretty fucking big. <laughs> Did you say the DeLorean? The DeLorean. <laughs> So Hot Toys obviously doing crazy weird things. We all Hot know you guys, your nipples are hard for the SH Figure Arts line and what they do with the dragons and their balls. Finally, we get a Majin <laughs> Boo. We had seen pictures from the Figure Rise series. Now we see one from the regular SH Figure Arts line. No price, obviously, or pre-order in sight. But we see that we can get a range of articulation from him finally. It looks like he will have poses able to go. The problem with this figure being that he's super fat. and Obviously, it took a lot of tooling to get him to do some poses and stuff. So, uh, it's crazy. I think, uh, yeah, me and uh, the one cam are pretty much the only uh, Dragon Ball Z people in this cast, aren't we? So, Yozuki, <laughs> how do you feel about the Dragon Ball Z line? I've been wanting to get into them. A while, I think I may start pretty Oof, soof. That's a tough. That's that's a, a yeah, lot of. You're them. gonna have to get into the, the tongs then. Yeah. I mean, I don't know which stuff you like. I mean, I'm more into now. We see here that this is a Bulma. I'm more into like these characters. Like, I want all of these side characters. Like, we see that there's a Roshi, obviously now too. So we'll get Roshi, Bulma, and. Yo, Majin Buu. So we're not sure when these are coming out, but we all know that just because we see them doesn't mean we're not going to wait two years to get these. But people have been waiting for Bulma for a long time, and this one looks like it's going to deliver. So Bulma looks cool. They did a good job with her. She Damn right. Fantastic. I can definitely sense. see Roshi oh. a lot of is that, is that Barrel yeah. playing cartoons in the background? Yeah, he's watching oh, Scoop fuck. and shit. <laughs> I, I didn't even know it. Oh, it's the box. The goes, box uh, from like I, I, 1990, yeah. from like 1995. <laughs> the channel of the box. I just ordered a video. Nah, fucking. Uh. You remember the, you guys remember the box though? <laughs> the uh, that movie, the box with uh, this guy with a funny face and the little box. You press a button. Sounds fascinating, Barrel. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it. I just, uh, it's always Sounds on, fascinating. Does anybody remember the channel that I'm talking about, the box? You could call it. Yeah, bro. Video yeah. request. You could see, you could see your, the, your number pop yes! up when you're ordering. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, forget it. They just, ordered, they just ordered it. They just ordered it. Ooh, right? You, <laughs> you could, too. You could totally see. They're like, wait, wait, hold on. Someone's going to ask. For Coolio, <laughs> don't worry. Don't request Coolio. Somebody already requested Coolio. That's it. Oh, Gangsta look, they picked Rob Bass. We're good. <laughs> they picked Rob Bass. <laughs> so we're seeing, basically, if you're looking at our cameras, and if you are not, we are going through some SH Figure Arts Star Wars. There's a slew of things coming out. There's a lot of CR2 mm -hmm. uh, uh, R2-D2s. There's a Dooku, which we will get your... See, all I want, though, is somebody to recast that Christopher Lee head so I can make, like, a fucking Dracula out of that motherfucker. Yes. Yes. My fucking... The, my Toys R Us has, like, a display now. For Mine does, the, too. Mine just you got, got that, like right? a like, display. Like, they haven't all got there, but they're it's yeah. like being, like, set up and shit. Oh, mine's set up. They finally set it yeah, up and put all the bandai the displays, out. The display is set up, but the stuff you can't buy none of it because there's no stock there. There's no stock! 
Yeah. You can just look like, at this. It's in the glass. Yeah, it's in the glass. So we do see that you're going to get the first movie, Leia. Looks like she'll have some plastic arms, but then go to somewhat of a cloth, at least for her legs. But the head looks pretty nice. You get the bun headphones on her, too, and comes with a pew-pew blaster. Look, look where it's from. <laughs> the band eyes. No, the bottom. The bottom? Hey, Miami, <laughs> bro. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> I'm like, look where it's from. Hey. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so Thanks we do see that we're finally going to get Ooh. a very articulated bongo wang chico we are getting a java not jawa but java so God. we looks like he has a good range of motion for his neck it looks like his mouth opens looks like he swivels several places like a snake would for his tail uh Sneaky. let's say koji are you do you collect these are you into these at all Oh, absolutely! But this Jabba, that's this is a hard pass, right? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I could but do a pizza. Of these, maybe, pizza his, the maybe his eyes open. You know, maybe you can like open and close his eyes. <laughs> uh, Where's Greedo? Where's and there's no jizz. Dengar. And there's no jizz coming out of his mouth. No, there's no chain for him to get choked <laughs> out with. Right. Well, this maybe this is just like the the Prado what do you type. Call it? Yeah, Prado. the prototype. The prototype. That's the thing with, with this line. It looks like a gremlin that smokes with them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yuzuki. Or just a special edition Jabba. Do you collect any of these, Yuzuki? Uh, actually, I don't. Um, I don't. I don't know. I never got into Star Wars figures. Right on. Just, uh, yeah. I don't want to upset a lot of people, but I, I don't really I'm already do in stuff. that group, yeah. <laughs> no, this line's awesome. I love this line. It is a fun line, but I yeah. just I have a few of them. But I like the Luke. The Luke was nice, um, but I got a good deal on it. So anyway, moving on, oh, we have oh, the yeah. cool. Revel Tech <coughs> Carnage figure that we are seeing. So this thing has a ton of extremities. Looks like he's having a hard time keeping it together. He has a lot of spikies and cushions, and looks like he's going to be. At least in your six inch scale, so he's not going to be as big as the diamond select by any means, but it will be a, a pretty good scale here. So, are you figure? Are you gonna? Are you interested in this figure at all, Mark? Uh, I am interested in it, but I'm gonna have to see what the going rate is for it before I pick it up because you know <laughs> I still have that diamond select, and that thing's pretty goddamn good. Yeah, man. So it's it's kind of tough. They, then I'd have two redundant figures. They're sort of the, in the same style. This is obviously far superior, mm -hmm. but um, it's it's gonna be tough. It depends on what the price is. Would you guys have any idea? Uh, it's probably gonna be in the ninety to a hundred dollar range for say. sure. Oh, then hard pass, hard pass. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, what do you feel about this? It's definitely hard pass. No, for me, I'm in the same boat. It's it's very similar to the uh, to the Diamond Select. I mean, obviously, it's got more articulation. It's going to be a little bit more in scale with what you're looking for, depending, I guess, on, on what kind of photo you're going for. But Some people like the big villain, so. Yeah, that's that's how I am. So I think I'm just going to probably stick with my Diamond Select, man. I feel like nice. I've got everything I need with that one, as as little as articulation as he has. I mean, right. you know, it still Eric, works for me. Eric, you pretty much staying in that boat, too? I don't have enough of this line to be starting now, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Um, right. Yes. I didn't jump on any of the fucking earlier, the Venom. I didn't jump on the Spider-Man. I didn't jump on the Wolverine. I'm not going to jump on this. Yeah. I'm not going to jump it. on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. no Dude, jumping. I got the Diamond Diamond Select as the carnage for me. Right. right? Yeah, if they came like it's out already been done. If they yeah. came out with a weed version, Barrow would probably get that one. Oh, mm -hmm. just made of weed. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> just shooting He's weed out weed of this. Bitch. So earlier this week, I was talking to Joe from uh, Extreme Sets, and he was discussing a little bit with me that he got together with uh, Super 7, and they have this spot yeah. over by San Diego near the Comic-Con. Yeah, that's so cool, man. And what they were able to do was Joe was able to have some of his previous sets available, plus some of the brand new sets available. He has sent me all of the promo images so we can go ahead and take a look at those right now. So these are oh, some of the products. This is from today? This yeah. happened today. Today, that yes. meetup today, right? Yeah, Absolutely, Super 7 yeah. meetup. 
Oh, you didn't go to that, uh, uh, Mark? No, that's uh, several hours away from L.A. Right. It doesn't work. Uh, I see nothing, no. So you leave leave early? Yeah, (laughs) man, I had other stuff to do today. (laughs) I think it's worth I, I got life shit going on, bro. <laughs> oh, I, got, I got real thing. life shit. <laughs> I got life shit. You just can't be driving around. <laughs> yeah. So no, I love Joe, though. He's my homie. He's a right. good dude. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can see these, but... Can you see this? No, we can't. No, fortunately, uh, was, so the things yeah. that they showed, was guys, was... Top secret. Show? The things that he showed was the gas station was actually available, so he had his demo versions that he has Ooh. at home. So we had the gas station. He also had um, the uh, elevator set. There was also the new version of that orange kind of like Transformers-like set with some of the more 3D pop-out mm-hmm. things. You got new computers. And, like, and, and, and people, people took, people took okay. pics okay. in them and shit. Yeah, yeah people, people came, came by and snapped some pics. photos. That's great. Action, figure, That's cool, action figure attacks, I know, went over there. He's a big they, supporter. They did that at, at, uh, at the Comic-Con here. Um this guy Bobo Bobo oh, FM Mac, I think is he brought a bunch of extreme sets oh, from cool. him and set it up there and like We're just not seeing a bunch of people Ryan, go to something else. And That's so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm going to the uh, photos. Right oh, okay. gave me. But uh, yeah, there was a little bit of a debacle today as uh, Mr. Yazuki kind of jumped the gun a little bit there and got a little too excited and. He didn't realize that when he went on the page and it said that they were already sold out, he thought they were already sold out, which conflicted with the information that I had previously got from Joe saying that they were not going to be released until the end of this month. But Yeah, they're not. No, but Joe was nice enough to send me all of the images and I have oh. gotten all of their – I started to do uh, some compilation videos for him, so hopefully you guys will be seeing some – commercials and some product placement for and these are the images so this is the abandoned house 2.0 yeah. it's very yeah, similar the, to the first but there's graffiti and such up. not what were you saying yeah. Barrel? All, all this stuff wasn't like available for the sale it was the other stuff yeah it was just the previous series yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, 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 I had asked him I, I sent him a message to asking him that like hey it says sold out he's like oh it's not available i was like oh <laughs> okay. He was like, God damn it, I had to ask this question so, so many fucking times. And then, I was like, oh, no wonder. Okay. <laughs> you guys just yeah, got I... the hype. You guys got the hype train just fucking greased the wheels. That's probably okay because he's probably like, wow. good. Everybody's all getting worried. And yeah. I'm sure that's what his intent was. So obviously, Lens, he posted yeah. on his stories. He got all butthurt and worried. He's like, no. I was like, yeah. I was like, yo, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it says sold out. He's I'm like, no, it's it. not available. Dude. Uh, it's not <laughs> it's sold out. Yeah, because like uh, when I when I approached him dope. when I approached him, he was like, "Oh, he was like, don't worry about the videos." He's like, "These aren't not due out to the end of the month." And I was like, "Well, I want to get my videos done." And I was like, "I want to finish that so you have it to mm. ready to go." And he was like, "Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea." I was like, "So he has uh, them already, so he'll be dude. releasing them uh, at his uh, own." The hallway with the elevator. This is the one that's the dope one. Look at yeah, that. I want to. I want to see that. Yeah. I want to see pics killing people it. took, bro. Wow. We got open doors in all of these now. Yeah. Yeah. So this one has looks like even the uh, elevator is a separate piece. So if you want to incorporate it in with another mm. set or if, like, yeah. so even if you wanted to take it, it could work like at a, like a, a top of a rooftop too. It could be a door yeah, to get from the rooftop, you know, obviously all these doors for snipers and people coming out obviously barrel we already know he's going to try to replace the floor and see if he can do like a shining which would probably work really cool he's going to make the floor out of weed extreme sets uh kit bashing right extreme sets kit bashing (laughs) so are you getting all these lens probably definitely getting this yeah uh, or um the gas station the gas station for sure i don't know about the alley though maybe i'd have to wait on that one okay but yes, we see that this gas is the station. gas station here. He has been showing us pictures of this. So not only is it a self-contained unit where it's um, housing above the gas uh, tanks, we have a storefront as well. So looks like wow. we're going to get several pieces. We don't know the price of any of these yet, and we're not sure yet what the actual date is. But this looks super decrepit. So 
it will work for a lot of photos. You know what? I'm almost thinking if you get into an isolated place outside too. I yeah, like right? to see I'd like to see yeah. Barrel, barrel to doing that. Yeah. Barrel. It's just barrel. Like I got no. Uh, I feel like this one was made day. for barrel. Right. A lot of so, wind. A lot of wind. You gotta, over here. you gotta weigh it down, man. Put some magnets on it. Weigh that shit down. Right. Put <laughs> some rocks on the roof. Yeah. So, yeah you can always put. <laughs> hopefully, you can just put something on top of there too. So. Who knows? We'll have to see from this, but I'm very excited Extreme for. Gas. I'm excited for all this extremeness. <laughs> we need too many burritos. That's it. Interview. All right. So go ahead and turn your cameras <laughs> on, everybody. Oh, sexy faces. So unlike yeah. what we have been doing lately, we are going to get into what we kind of more or less used to do, which was actually interview people. We know pretty much everybody on here. We'll spend some time down the road talking to them. But we have Mr. Felton on. So we are so gracious to have him come on. Hey. We all know we Welcome love. Welcome to the Dreadnoughts podcast, sir. There's not one person on here that does not appreciate hey. your work and appreciate how you man. operate on the Instagram. And thank you for coming along with this journey for us, man. Well, thanks for allowing me to finally see you guys and be amongst the faces this time. Right. <laughs> so we're all curious, man. Uh, you know, when did you become a full-time martial arts ninja? Oh, man. I've been into, like, you know, Asian culture, martial arts for, like, since I was, like, 10. Ditto, so. man. Like um, all of yeah. us that grew up around the Bruce Lee, Ninja Turtles exactly. era, 70s exactly. through the 80s, the, huh? The octagon. Exactly. It just, it just kind of molded me. So. Yeah. So how did Very you get cool. into, I mean, you not only do photography, but you do some pretty amazing, lavish videos as well. How did you get into this whole field? Uh, the video field, Um, actually, uh, this is where Nick and I kind of have a... Uh, how do you want to say it? Se separation or several degrees of separation or whatever. We went to the same school, the Art Institute. Nice. Uh, oh, wow. Um, I Not majored in media thing. arts and animation, and I just kind of picked up video production. And ever since then, I just came to toy photography, and mm -hmm. I was able to put like all these mediums I've learned together and try to make something new. And, uh, oh, yeah. Pretty much yeah, it. Man. I mean, what are you are, cool. are you using? Obviously, After Effects. Yeah, um, After Effects, uh, Final Cut Pro. Nice. Of course, F Photoshop and Lightroom. Pretty much, those are it. Very cool. Now, would you consider yourself? I mean, because you're actually doing some really, really cool pieces. I mean, you were working with uh, some of the one six scale females there and stuff. You were creating motion with that i mean how are you manipulating that are you like moving the actual doll or is it stop motion like how do you operate when you do those kind of pieces um i actually do a hybrid of all of it because um with the limited time i have i have to well stop motion we know it's very time consuming very time consuming and yeah. you know so. and it, it doesn't give the same feel as when you're actually like because that's what i tried to do as well recently was try to do it more where you know you're not really doing the stop motion you're moving around with things or actually live moving them yeah exactly <laughs> and i'll and i'll go ahead and do like camera tricks uh camera manipulations nice. and uh, move the figure also to make it seem like you know they're moving in in tandem Mm -hmm. Just camera tricks, and, and that's creative. that's that's where I find the most fun too. Is is like you can shoot a lot of things that look terrible <laughs> and turn them into something very creative when you allow yourself to really just get in, especially with like horror or suspense, where you're really able to you know get into those lines of like shaking the camera and zooming in and fog and all that too. So exactly. production value, yeah, just, just, just value. Yeah. edit it, edit right. it too, perfect. It comes out dope. Yeah, so that's you. very cool, man. I mean, but, uh, you know, <laughs> keep it up. Well, we really, really appreciate all the stuff that you do. Um, how did you get into toys then, too? Like, is this something that was from your childhood, obviously, or? Um, well, I guess like most of us, we grew up with, like, collecting Transformers and G.I. Joes and stuff. But, uh, you know, when you get old, you, you leave that stuff. But then something brought me back. And I think it was... Um, Getting old. Leave it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When was the break? I, I think it was AZ, AZ Famous, uh, 
Mm -hmm. Casey X-Fan. Yeah. He had a blind cowboy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. And yeah, all these ideas that started flooding in my head. I was like, what's that figure? I got to figure out what it is. So I tracked it down, and it actually threw me to, like, you know, Instagram, where I found out, you know, this whole community of artists. And I was intrigued. Right, because, yeah, we haven't, I mean, you kind of just showed up, and then you were just like, I'm already good, so. Killing it already. <laughs> <laughs> no learning curve, this already is, murdering it. This like, is uh, uh, 79, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 70, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. This 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 guy has the, the fucking those he's subway not even sure, shots. He's not even sure. Those who's subway on. shots that he has yes. are fucking sick as fuck. All oh, of oh, them. Sick sick as as that the you know, first one I think that busted that the the the, the subway pole. I thought he was gonna say oh. his cherry. You're the first yeah, one yeah. that busted my cherry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> 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 Dude, he's never gonna forget it either. He's been sore ever since. Sore. <laughs> Sar. Yeah, man, dope. I appreciate dope that. Shit. Thank you. And the Tyson shit's fucking. I know. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dude. That's fucking that's killing sick. that shit. Oh, wow. So I mean, basically, what happened is, in a very short time, you have allowed yourself to just become completely immersed in this field, haven't you? Yeah, and uh, a little kind of a side, a side story. Not to get too depressing, but uh, I battled a little bit of a depression in uh, a little, a little bit, a couple months ago, and. This community actually helped me help get me out of it. Believe it or not. Sweet. Hell yeah, man. I was having oh, man. so nice, uh, man. As we all do, we're all human. We all go through some shit once in a yeah. while. And it does yeah, help to have sure. that with other people around and have something in common with other people and to get you hyped sure. and be excited to wake up the next day and have something to work on and something yeah. to look forward to. To post. Some motivation. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good to have motivation in life to do something new, get something fresh. Yeah, literally, this was all I had going for me in my life. Serious and. You guys helped help me out, so thank wow. you. We're here to help. Yeah, man. Right on, dude. I mean, that's, oh, yeah. that's, the, that's, that's the whole that's the whole point of like coming together, doing the show. We have an avenue where we can actually like take off our hats and Connect like become people. humanized and actually talk to each other instead of just saying cool or dope or you know that sort of thing. It's like we're here to tell you, like you know, keep it up, man. Like you inspire us and. Yeah, You're making us like really want to dig deep. And, and in that regard, you know, saying too, like, you know, what kind of equipment are you using to like help people like in that regard? Like, how did you approach, you know, the camera that you're going to get and what do you look for in a camera? OK, um, uh, the camera, are you, well, I shoot a Canon 70D right now. Oh, nice. nice. Um, and that was like when it first came out. The camera to get if you were into like video. Um, mm -hmm. you, you got this. You got this before the toy uh, craze, right? Yeah. Because um, okay. before then, I had ran my own like uh, media business, you know, side, you know, side job. Mm -hmm. So I needed a camera that does video well. So I did got I got that, and uh, from there I just added on a DSLR DSLR slider. Um, oh, nice. I've got one of the Kessler cranes. Um, oh, nice. Wow, man. Production. Quality material here. Serious here. shit. Here. Where, where, where are you at? Like, what, what, what state are you in? Uh, I'm in Northern Virginia. It's about 45 minutes from DC. Mm -hmm. oh, so, shit. Yeah, okay. that was. Uh, Bear's like, let's make a fucking movie, yo. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's, it's cold there now for you, or what? It is actually kind of cold. It's about 32 degrees over here. Oh, oh yeah, shit. you got about, yeah, we're about <laughs> the same weather too. Yeah. Yeah. Cold. yeah. Do you got a lot of uh, Do you got a lot of options for buying toys? Do you got a lot of like comic book shops around or anything like that? We have some. It's not like you know, L. A. or California. It's so you're pretty somebody. much you're pretty much based online buying everything then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not it. Toys R Us is okay, but doesn't really have the selection that I've seen. Everybody I get you. Else. Yeah, I get you. I yeah, mine doesn't that. have mine doesn't have that that much shit either. No, yeah, the, there, can the I Denver one that? has the fucking the more. So what would you have to say then that, you know, like you say that we inspired you, like what's keeping you inspired to post as much as you do to like keep your feed continuously active and make sure that you're utilizing like not only series of figures, but, you know, stretching the possibilities around, you know, a series, but then you kind of seem to move on to something else and get inspired with that. Like what, what's inspiring you to consistently keep shooting? I, it might just be that 
the create just to to do something new every day. I, mm -hmm. That might be my something challenging every day. You know, it's I, I try to do that to keep my you know creative juices flowing. So do you have like a do you have like a set time of how long you like work on a shot or do some shots obviously take a little longer? Like how do you approach that whole aspect? Believe it or not, there's no method to my madness in that. I, I get up, I feel like shooting. Uh, I try to shoot before I go to work. I work nights, man, and it's right. So I try uh -huh. to get up around 1 p.m. and try to get something going, an idea's flowing. Or the day before, I'll start writing down on my notepad an idea and try to, like, nice. you know, figure it out. But we'll see. That's pretty much it. Sometimes it takes a half hour, sometimes takes two hours. Oh, God, yeah. Sometimes yeah. eight, dude. It just depends on the night. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it's rough. I'll so tell you, you, a lot of these uh, dioramas are helping out, though. Right. Oh, yeah. Ideas. And extreme sets and all that kind of stuff. Like, it, yeah. it's a game changer for toy photography. Yeah. Game changer. Are you quick, using a lot it's of... quick setup. Yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you using a lot of extreme sets, bro? Or are you using uh, some, like, homemade dials? Mm -hmm. Uh, I've got a, I got a few. I got the uh, first abandoned house. I've got the, uh, was it the subway? And I have another one, but uh, it's a combination between you know uh, uh, commission dials. You just got one sets. from Toyographer, correct? Yeah, yeah. I've been going to him a lot. Oh yeah, he's the man. Yeah. Does he have good prices? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call him out. That's man. dope. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell us what you got. What's, what's he charge? <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 always like, did, well, what do you do when you take the shot? Are you like constantly just focused on when you're shooting it? Do you have to watch something? Like Barrel, he can't. Barrel and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw my boat in there too. I usually have to have something TV going boys. or something on there. Do you listen to music? Do you just like to meditate, mm -hmm. getting your ideas focused. I usually have music on. Nice. That usually, you know, has that whole right brain kind of like creativity going. And that's nice. Yeah. You know, so what's what's your jam then when you're gonna shoot some photos? Damn. Believe it or not, it, it depends on the shot. Like uh, my Punisher series. Yeah. I listen to some really like crazy grunge, kind of like just angry, <laughs> just some like POS. <laughs> yeah. Um, something to pump you up. Exactly. Uh, soundtracks, for example. Um, oh, yeah. 28 nice. Days Later, you remember the, remember the movie? Oh, yeah. yeah of course. Danny uh, Boyd, man. Course. Yeah. I'll be listening Still to some of those, sound. like, you know, sounds and from the like soundtrack. The no, that's see, cool. that's what I'm saying. Now, that, that answers the question, too, to say that you're – you're somewhat like me, like you're putting the whole you're putting the whole cinematography movie aspect into it. Like you're allowing yourself to then because there are some directors like James Gunn is known for actually he played the music that's in the movie while they're filming these things. So you're you're almost creating like scenes for these things while you're setting them up too. That's very cinematic. Yeah. yeah I try to I try to envision the scene and like if I was watching it as like a movie. Yeah, right. what soundtrack would go with it. I do the same thing. I do that in my story yeah. sometimes. I noticed you were doing it too, but you obviously yeah. do it on a much higher level than I do. <laughs> so, I mean, do you, do you struggle then to get ideas for things or do you base your ideas off the new figures that you're getting or just the figures that you feel like you haven't been highlighting? Believe it or not, I have ideas that's constantly flood my mind, man. It, it's it, tough, it's, huh? Yeah. And like, I'm waiting. The, I'm waiting on the new Revoltech. Is it a uh, Magneto? Right. Oh uh, yeah. I've got like 50 ideas already written down for that. <laughs> he wrote them down. Yeah. Nice. Hey, yeah, that's a man. good idea. It is. And, uh, I, that's why I like to take screen caps and stuff, or like save images, or you know, just to yeah, the ballpark same. the ideas around. Yeah. So, you get into my little mad scientist lab and start, you know, breaking stuff apart and. Yeah. <laughs> So you yep, actually literally. the process. <laughs> so you just recently got yourself some of the articulated icons, correct? Yeah. You know, you weren't actually on the Kickstarter, right? No, it wasn't. You're like, I Whoa. missed all that shit. What did you end up paying for those, man? Oh my god. Oh well initially oh, I bought no. the samurais. Oh um, shit. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> the name was <laughs> Hold your breath. Um 
No, I mean, um, initially I hit up the, the Facebook groups first and try to get a deal with those guys going. Yeah. So I spent about maybe 75 bucks for one samurai, the first one. Yeah. Once I got it in hand, I was like, I'll never do that again. Right. Uh, <laughs> I, I could wait. So that's what I did. Um, I think uh, Captured Plastic, he went ahead and sent, gave me a great deal on the second samurai. Okay. Uh, so I went ahead and got the silver samurai one. And uh, from there on, I just started waiting until a deal popped up, a decent deal. I'm talking decent, about decent. Five bucks or so. Damn, like that, where, ain't decent, that ain't decent to me. <laughs> 65? Yeah, we got them on our retail. No, like um, fifty-five to sixty-five dollars, depending. Like, um, I mean, I guess yeah, in your boat, in your guys's boat, you know, I guess yeah. It's. Yeah. I mean, if you weren't in early. Struggle. I mean, you're gonna expect to spend that much. I mean. I'm glad yeah. you're into them, though. I mean, it sucks. I know they're like, worth it. Would you have went hard on the Kickstarter if you would have known about it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never do that again, man. I'll never, I'll never wait. Um, right. Oh, you knew about it, but you just were like kind of on the fence about it. Yeah, I heard about it like at the last week. I guess something was closing. And oh, was, man. Uh, wow. You're like, now that I'm knee deep in this community, you guys aren't going to let me forget a motherfucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got you back, man. Don't worry. I got you. Yeah, now I'm much more picky and more uh, cost conscious when I buy stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So that, that, that actually leads into the next question is like, is there a line that you like is, you know, this is my line, you know, absolutely like bar none, you almost have to get everything from a specific line or do you enjoy kind of the chaos of having a collection? <laughs> I, I guess uh, I don't have to have every one of a line. Like, for example, I'm not trying to go out and get all the karate guys from articulated icons. Um, Smart. I may just go off and bare feet. Yeah, let my ideas dictate which ones I go for. Pretty much. That's how I. That's how I make my decisions. Yeah. So I'm so, not really completionist. Yeah. You're not worried about team building. You're not worried about like continuity in that regard. You just want cool figures and you want to shoot cool figures. That's it. I'm simple. Yep. Man. That's <laughs> nothing. There's nothing wrong with that mentality. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. one bit. Do not feel yeah, that save you have your cash. Get shit that you think is dope. Exactly. So yeah. you so you say you're working nights. What is I mean, do you have a dream job? Yeah. <laughs> What's oh, your dream man. job? Tell tell him, Nick, right? I'm gonna start getting my list out. <laughs> What's up? Uh, um, I would love <laughs> to do something and you know, get like into video production with like a bigger company, a big company or right. Um, an animation company or something. Use some of the skills I've learned, like to make some money. Right. <laughs> Use that degree. Heck, Use that even, degree, easy. You know, you gotta come but, out to LA, man. Yeah, you know what? I would love to like work for Sideshow. I actually applied for them several times. Yeah, I did. Oh, you know, now this guy actually <laughs> makes like his videos like he doesn't do like a review but he'll you know spin the figure and you know use all these like great lighting and all these like effects and all that those is exactly what sideshow i've seen them do and yeah. you can do so yeah that, that would be the top dream job for half the same one Definitely. You're like, then I could touch all them figures i could shoot all them <laughs> figures and i wouldn't need the figures because i already shot it pretty much yeah. Save on He's space. like, if they want to give it to me, that's fine. But technically, me, we spent a week together, so we was we was kicking it, you know. Yeah, I shot the shit out of him, and it was a wrap. Yeah, definitely, yeah. that would all be awesome. Yep. So, is there? Do you have like a favorite franchise, favorite movie, or again, do you enjoy the whole chaos of being in this uh, nerd community? I just love the chaos, man. You know, right? Hell yeah. He's like, I'm into ninjas, I'm into cyborgs, I'm into fucking <laughs> Powerpuff Girls. He's like, I'll take all that. That's me in a handbag. I'm into way too much fucking everything. Like, But yeah. it's super cool. Like, I like it when collectors like to buy, like you did, real, like, actual people. Like, you're buying Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. Like, these guys oh, yeah. are in comic books but in a whole different way because they're actually like real people but how do you feel about that is there any uh flaws with those figures or anything like that any qc issues or pretty much standard amazing across the board i would say 
Storm Collectibles actually knocked this out the park 10 out of 10, if I had to say. Wow. wow. Um, I had a chance to uh, hold the first version of Mike Tyson, the, the older body. Mm -hmm. And there was so many, like, after a while, uh, the, the, the arms, the arm joints would, like, break. Or yeah. The body was just flawed in so many ways. But uh, I wasn't the only one that had that issue with the first one. But this one here have no problems, articulation or nothing. Nice, dude. And you do want the one twelfth when that comes out as well? I'm probably gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck He's like, why should guys scoop that shit up before me? And I somehow I blank out that week. I stop listening to the podcast. God, I have it. I can't wait for that one. Yeah. Right. You're like the only thing I don't like about those hot toys is how much overtime work I had to put in to get those or the storm collectibles. <laughs> yeah, it was worth it though. All right, well, I'm going to open it up to anybody here that has any singular questions. Nick, you guys went to the same school. What do you got? So what kind of lens are you rocking, man? Well, uh, I got, I'm got. i using my macro shot, uh, macro lens now, the uh, F.28. Nice. F.28. Um, Made by Canon? Yeah, yes. Nice. That's my primary lens right now. I had an accident with my 50 millimeter 1.4. Oh no! Mm -hmm. What yeah. happened? I was doing trying to do too many things at once, and I dropped it. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, multitasking. Yeah. So lens is like I, until I get that fixed. <laughs> yeah. Until I get that fixed, I'm gonna have to keep uh, using the uh, macro lens. So. Shit, man. He's like, I'm kind of stuck. Your photos are not suffering, that's for no, sure. No, not at all. <laughs> no He's like, but, you, but if you want to get that wide shot, your ass is going like four or five fucking feet back, though, am I right? <laughs> right. I know that wow. game. I fucking yeah. know that game, brother. I'm like, I wait, no Zoom? I'm like, I got to go way the fuck back here. I will say I do use the kit lens also, the uh, 1855. Yeah, million. that's so you yeah, don't have man. to go back five feet. Yeah. <laughs> Those two change it up, just zoom out, zoom in. Absolutely. Quick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm in a smaller room now. I, I can't go back fucking six feet anymore. I'm like, I got to put the standard on. There's no point in rocking Take it this. outside, bro. Take it outside. <laughs> take it outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to take this outside? Huh? Huh? You want to <laughs> take this outside? I think he's threatening you, Jared. I mean, we're going to have to handle this later. <laughs> can't wait. I'll send fucking... It's on uh, recording. At least you have evidence. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get Tony Clifton after his ass. Oh, <laughs> oh! I'm gonna tell you something. Tony Clifton. I'm gonna tell you something. Wow! Son of a bitch! Don't make me ruin this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll snap every one of you's fucking dick off. All right. Anybody else? Let's see. Eric, you got a question for Mr. Yazuki? Um. How do you feel about C. Jessam's Punisher uh, outfits? <gasps> I noticed that you fucking rocked it like harder than anyone's rocked it yet. Yeah. Oh, that that guy is so talented, man. He just opens up whole new doors of like ideas. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. If I could afford to buy all the Punisher like pants and, <laughs> but I. Uh, he he got me kicked on the whole like the post apocalyptic old man Frank uh, Frank uh, Castle yeah, idea. Was, mm -hmm. I was gonna talk to you about that, man. That was so he was like, good, I was waiting man. for my turn. <laughs> oh, I know. I created, <laughs> but, uh, I created a whole fucking universe of shots for yourself, and yeah, just, that was amazing. Dude, yeah, he was he like, with the I'm beard a, on the Mezco. Hell yeah! Like he was sending me. He's like, you think I should? I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do it. If you think, Dude, just you could do it. buy separate heads. You could buy separate heads, man. Of okay. course, just do it. Buy another one. Yeah. See, I, I came into the whole like custom head thing late, and I didn't really know where to go look. And and I, I came to you guys, and I was like, oh, you know, I talked to Doom. I was like, hey, where do you guys? And that's when you offered to make me. Where you begin, them, Zad? Yeah, man. <laughs> For like Is the John it, and all that. No. I got you, man. I got to uh, finish up. I just finished up their heads and uh, sent them out. And then I got to, I'm still working on night wings. And then uh, I'll finish yours right up, man. No rush. Man. Yeah, bro. I, I need, I need a, a, a John Wick. 
<laughs> you know, this isn't all about you right now. Adrian. This isn't like request line. Right now. Right. Oh no! Why don't I thought, you get your I, own goddamn John Wick? I thought we were fucking uh, TRL right now. Oh yeah, you're Carson Daly in the shit out of this. Let me tell you what. Jesus. I'll tell you what I'm. <laughs> I'll total request your life. Uh, we need a John Wick. <laughs> so oh, I'm oh, just saying, like, why do I get a Keanu in my life? I wish I had my list here. I'd read it out, but I don't got it. <laughs> you don't got it. Right, I got a question for you, man. So you're hyped on all the same shit that me and Dave and Eric and everybody, obviously, we're kind of all... Uh, birds of a feather that flock together here on, what course. was it when you were a kid that got you hyped what line specifically like in the 80s because i'm a big vintage guy what line was it when you were a kid that just got you super hyped on toys or action figures oh um probably robotech nice Robo yeah. Robotech. Oh, yeah. yeah i know oh yeah it's kind of out there I, I the number one would be transformers but that's too easy yeah um all the mix the that's my second passion. I like mech uh, action figures, right? Which is weird because you don't see me shoot them that often. But that's me in the Dragon Ball Z line, bro. I'm telling you, not everything's yeah. easy to shoot, dude. No right. acid rain figures for yourself. Damn. Yeah, surprising. Acid yeah, dude. Rain, acid rain. He's rain's like, give me time. Give me time. Dive in because there's <laughs> lots of mechs. And then you saw the stuff that I've been doing probably with the uh, painting those old um, Exo Squad figures. Oh, yeah. yeah things that those are so sick in the end. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys. I got, now that I have a better light system here, you can see how cool they are once we get to my week. But yeah, man, Felton, this has been really cool to talk with you and chat you up, man. But in efforts of uh, saving time for our listeners, we should probably break into some people's weeks here. What do you mm -hmm. think there, Jared? Well, I was Oops. still going to allow everybody to make sure they asked him a question. So anybody else before we wrap it up or is everybody good? I don't have a question, but I just want to give him a shout out. I hit See? this dude up for a couple of a uh, couple times over DMs. He helped me out so much with painting up this car, showing me videos of how to paint it and how to cut the doors open. And you'll kind of see the car when we talk about my week. But I just want to give you a shout out. Thank you so much. You are a stud in the community, and this is what the community yeah. should be. Helping each other out. Hell yeah. You're a fucking stud. Absolutely. Thanks, brother. Super stud. Anytime. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, let's have you. Let's, let's bring you, let's bring you into my stable. Yeah. Let's have, let's have uh, you lead it off there, Koji. What's going on with you, brother? Okay. So, we got Jan. Hey, Mr. Wick. That's going to go out. Barrel needs a wick. To... So. Damn. <laughs> no. The, oh, all the wicks are uh, spoken for. Sorry, Barrel. But no, Barrel, I'm sending you something. You'll, I, I showed you. I showed you yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, Stop awesome. being selfish. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it not, all. All the likes, all wick, the followers, no. and all just the wicks. <laughs> Just no, I just been, I've been seeing like a lot of wick, so I'm like, fuck. You got all the weed already. You're already a king. What's fucking wick? <laughs> We're already all gonna be shooting it. What are you trying to put weed in his hands already? I've been watching the movie, dude. That I just saw <laughs> two the other day. <laughs> He's like, you just saw it. I want to do a video. He don't go to the theater. Okay. No, I have it on Direct TV. <laughs> Direct TV. <laughs> Shout out Direct TV. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been painting a lot this week. I hooked a few of uh, a few of our dreadnoughts up with a couple things. I think they're going to show them to you later on. There we go. Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, look at that. Uh, wow. But I've really had anything. Uh, I do want to talk about this very guy too. Very nice. <laughs> Got a <laughs> figure art <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this this figure is pretty hyped. I can't wait for the ray to come out. So in that's a few the weeks. SH figure arts. Kylo Ren. Kylo, yeah. Rilo wow. Kylie. Yeah, Rilo Kylie. He doesn't have like that that sheen that Figure Arts has been putting on their stuff lately. He so has I appreciate the that. not not accurate to the first film scars. Exactly that too. <laughs> he moved so weird. His, he moved the scars with his mind. He was like, yeah, he willed it. He willed the scar away. <laughs> These scars, these scars suck. I want better ones. <laughs> these scars don't look good. <laughs> these scars, scars, these scars are so... The force. I had yeah. to put up with four years of Lena Dunham. Give me this. I just want different scars. I don't care about God. continuity. <laughs> so what Do you would have you... the previous uh, SH figure arts of the Kylo Ren then? 
Yeah, I do. But that became fodder. That became my uh, Revenge of the Sith figure arts Anakin custom. Like his lower body became that. So that's just fodder for the upper body now. Oh. Use it for something, hopefully. Maybe. Is you uh, you're going to turn that one into a ninja as well? <laughs> hey, <laughs> why not? Hey, why you totally not? could. <laughs> I'm not hating. I'm not hating. Very a genuine cool. question. So what else yeah. is uh, what else is shaking? Uh, if you could, Koji, what head would you want Casting Cave to make next? Oh God, Steve McQueen. Steve oh, hell McQueen. Yeah. Nice, Didn't even have to think nice. Steve, yeah, McQueen. Steve McQueen. Nice choice, man. Steve fucking McQueen, the dude. Yeah, so what much character would in his face. For, what would you, would you use for him though? And what scale would you want a NECA or you want a, more a Legends or figure no arts? Legends? Yeah, put him on a Legends, legends. suit body. Or, you know, if, uh, Cast and Cave, he's been pretty good about, like, Actually, making these sizes oh, no, 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 between. No, 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 dude. The Plan Buffy, B the Vortex. Buffy the line Vortex. angel figure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got yeah. that greaser already look with the removable jacket. He could have the fucking just shirt on, too. That's yeah. in legend scale, too. Nice. All Absolutely. right, well, yeah. you heard it here, Cast and Cave. Get working on the Steve <laughs> Steve McQueen, uh, I'll, I'll buy the head for you, Casting Cave. Right. He's like, I'll get you what you need. You know what? <laughs> I did that with Van Damme, and he was like, he was still like, he was going to charge me to do it. I was like, no, no, let me just send it to you, but you got to send it back when you're done. Like, it was a nice Van Damme head. I just want a shrunk down version of it, but I'll, I'll deal with my Dolly version. So, what else is going on? What else have you been uh, moving and shaking with? Uh, Oh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Been kind of a straightforward week, just painting, taking my time with these, so that way you guys can have maybe something nice for the holidays. And... Maybe. So what? Hey. Let's, go, let's go over. Let's go over the body there that you have for this. Oh, particular... yeah. This is just that figure arts Tony Stark body. The clothing. Um, now I don't want to mention who made the clothing because it's these not are the folks seen, that are like. Yeah. It's that guy from they're... California. I have one of his. Yeah. Tail. It's a good product. Like, Even I talked to CJ about it, and he agreed that you know this guy's doing good work. So this is not yeah. – he's not trying to do any bootleg C. Jessam stuff. He does hoodies, and okay. he did uh, stretch pants. So in no way is C. Jessam upset with this guy, or is he taking okay. away any business okay. because – He's staying original. Yeah, he's staying original. Cool. He's doing – he has his own little logo, too, where it's like a chef thing, where it's like a skull and like two like kitchen utensils or whatever. So – I yeah. like it. Like I've got a couple of these. I used this hoodie is going to be used for the Axel Foley custom that I because I asked yeah. um, I asked uh, Nightwing when I was making it. I was like, "What version do you want? Do you want the the you know the first movie where he has the the gray you know uh, shirt underneath and the the black hoodie, or do you want me to sculpt the Detroit jacket?" He was he wanted this version so. Really? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna do a whole all cloth with it. So yeah, yeah. There, in no in yeah no way is he is a uh, is a uh, Mister Jessam mad. So okay, okay, cool. Because I was like, yeah, fuck that guy. But then if <laughs> <DJ's> <laughs> no, the guy's doing great. The guy's doing good work. Those those stretchy pants. Get those stretchy pants too. They're amazing. Yeah. I put them on the uh, the fucking what's his name the the creepy Oyaji. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. I was going to say, fuck this guy, even though I bought his stuff and I like his stuff. But All right, okay. very cool, but I guess man. he's cool. Very, very cool. Lens, what's cool. going on with you, buddy? Oh, man, I've been busy, man. Since we last talked, I took a vacation. Ooh. Took a little, uh, took a little adventure road trip to uh, Big Bear. That's where, you, that's where my grandma used to have a cabin at. Yeah, man, I uh, rented a nice camper van. Cruised around the country for a couple days. It was pretty fun. Took a lot of toy pictures, as you guys have been seeing in my feed, I'm sure. Now, did you smoke out there? Did I smoke? Yeah. Like, smoke weed? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, crack. Did you smoke crack? You smoke, was it Jack and Crack Week yeah. out there? Yeah. Were you yeah, smoking crack? Did you try any illegal yeah. things? Were you smoking cigarettes uh, out there, Nicholas? No, uh, no did, peyote did, did. or anything like that. <laughs> I didn't do any ayahuasca or peyote, no. no. Did you find any, any heroin? <laughs> did you, you do know, some I drugs? I did some shady package. I didn't open it yet. I'm kind of scared. Nice. <laughs> you did? You did find something? No. <laughs> no. No, no. no. I'm just talking. You gotta play along, man. You gotta leave that joke on a little bit better. Got me. Got I gotta me. go. Yes, and. 
So yes, let's uh, yes, let's talk a little bit about this uh, diorama heaven that uh, you and Doll Power check out there. Kickcraft, shit, dude. They yeah, this is like a little hobby store in Studio City, kind of by Mark's place. I don't and live in dude, Studio City though. I live elsewhere. <laughs> you know, you by the way. From? Just as a, well, <laughs> I'll put that out there. Like, I'm it's not, easy like, to I'm find like, you in Studio fucking City. Yeah. They got a better chance of finding you in There's only two Saginaw. apartment buildings there. I'm like three zip codes up, buddy. Right? Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm several streets away. <laughs> but anyway. He's like, like, this every, place is right around the corner from Mark's house, so. No, almost any prop you can think of, like, furniture-wise. Yeah, they got everything. Do they even, they have, like, little Mac book, uh, MacBooks and iPhones, what? iPads, all Fucking little gadgets and As shit. you guys would know, I sent some of those to Barry. Yeah, Potter. I got, I got some of those. I got them. But uh, yeah, they had like little an one twelve animals. I got a little dachshund here. Oh, there you go. That's your dog. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh I'm shit! Figure of my dog. We saw that in your story, brother. Yeah, they have tons of little dogs. They have chickens. They have fucking everything. Dude, Jesus. everything really. Yeah. Anything have... you want for inside of a house. They had a 112 like diner booth. I thought was really cool. What? It's, it's a little yeah. on the small end, so yeah. it, it would not. It's gonna be Mecca. a Figma. It would work with at the SH Fig Arts or something like that, Figma. but it's also like Figma, yeah. 60 bucks. Shit. Stuff's not cheap there. It's no, very not at all, not at all, dude. Yeah, I, I actually left there and went to Hobby Lobby to buy a couple things because they were just outrageously expensive. Yeah, the the little iPhones are like seven, eight bucks. Yeah, yeah, and the MacBooks are like ten bucks. The Mac I saw that, uh, Some of the MacBooks are twenty. What? Damn. Yeah, the one I sent to Barrels. The ones that open up back. probably. Are they like official Apple products? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have screen they have savers on them. by the same slaves. They need to be licensed. I, can use yeah. them took, I took mine to the Genius Bar, and they looked at me all weird. <laughs> <laughs> they took shots in your honor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like the Genius Bar. Yeah, that's what you did us up, bro. The genius is huddled together in the masses. Did you do a song? I can't get this shit to like boot a... up. <laughs> got the black screen. Any... Game, it'll fit this. What the fuck, guys? Everything keeps getting smaller and more compact. I don't understand. <laughs> if there's uh, any specific props you guys are looking for, please let me know, and I'll uh, I'll check it out for I'll you. I'll super jack yeah, up the price for you. <laughs> or anywhere near my home. I saw that fucking garage door, man. No one cares, Mark. Yeah, right? That's pretty crazy. That garage door that you posted. You have to was build a garage man. to go with it, I guess, first. Right. And that, yeah. Yeah. You just got the door, man. That's some super hobo right? shit right there. Like, I got a, I got a garage door, but nothing you probably, house you in probably, it. You probably yeah, have a garage yeah, yeah. stream yeah. sets. You could just make one. Very, very cool, man. So, uh, are you really enjoying shooting your 1 6 scale stuff? Is this going to be the future for you, or are you still going to be inversed in I, all the neckiness? So, I like the, I like, bought the 1 6 shit. To mainly shoot outside, man, because, yeah, I figured I'd shoot smaller stuff inside, and I like shooting the bigger stuff outside, because you can capture more of the background. I'm not taking my Fison outside. Well, yeah, but <laughs> got to be careful. She ain't going out there. You buy as good 1.6 shit. Right. Who does? You buy a Fison. Womp <laughs> 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 Do I touch you, like you? You you can't take it outside. Right. Yeah, so exactly. Your neighbors will fall on you. They'll be like, "There's some weirdo with a naked body outside." Right. She's just, got oh, clothes on. Look, it just, oh look, it just broke. She's got '80s clothes on. I was playing. She looks like she did an aerobics video. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's a nice uh, change of pace shooting the one six. It is, you know. I'm having fun. Yeah, sharpen your skills up. You learn some new things. Ain't nothing wrong with dollies out there. No, nah, man. Mm. Yeah, so, I, like, I like that that revenant figure. I'm, I, yeah. Every time I, I see it more and more on your shit, I might I might Jones and grab one. So what would nice. be what would be what would be the next trigger figure then for you? Obviously, you saw Blondie, and that was a trigger figure. So if you went somewhere else, what's gonna be uh, you know an instant buy figure for you that you see? Oh man, if I saw it at the right price, they they Redman Toys act, makes the other two characters from the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Oh right, right, so right. Make the, yeah. uh, Clint obviously the good, the uh, the bad, the the Lee Van, Lee Van Cleef uh, character. I forget his name, and then um, Tuco. Oh yeah, so, yeah, dude. If I saw Tuco for a good price, fuck, I might pick him up. Right. Yeah, 
I want to get all three of those guys eventually and do like uh, like the ending scene from the Good yeah. and Bad when they're so the eyeballs. Off. Yeah, man. Imagine doing that. That yeah. would be super McDuck stacks. Fuck yeah. And I live in California, the fucking desert, so find some good options. do it perfect. Options. Like, yeah. I'll get lost out there and do some shit. No big deal. Right. I'll get eaten by like wolves and shit. But, no, whatever. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll risk it. All right. So you're playing with yeah. your Indiana Jones there, and you're still on the yeah, horse man. game, obviously. I picked up this horse recently, the Toy Biz horse. You and horses, bro. You're all oh, fucking shit. of course. Dude, got a... Well, since I don't have vehicles, I guess I'll get some fucking animals to put my figures on. Right. <laughs> that horse is very nice, dude. I don't even have that Toy Biz horse. I found it for, like, uh, I think, like, 28 bucks on eBay. For That's the, a nice one. On, o- on open pack. Came with mm-hmm. the... Uh, Fucking Vigo Morgan. Vigo Morgan. Vigo Morgan. He's actually American. I don't know why I said it with an accent, but awesome. Vigo. Very very cool, man. Are you? Uh, that you didn't see the disaster artist yet? No, man, not yet. I've been uh, sleeping on it. I should Ooh. go see it though. I want to see it. Really Bro, what's bad. the big? What's the big deal with that movie? Well, if you haven't no seen thing. the room, then. Nothing. Yeah, you kind of have to see the room. <laughs> oh, what's the big bad. what's the big deal with that movie? <laughs> you oh, gotta no. see that movie first. No it's just it. infamously bad. It's infamous. Oh, really yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how. That's the only thing is is like if you I don't know I haven't. Is anybody that hasn't seen the room gonna go see that movie? And is it gonna be funny to anybody that doesn't know what the room is? No and no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. God. Fucking went out on a limb for that movie. They're gonna lose out on that. Oh, you yeah. think so? Yes. I don't know. I think we'll it's see. actually forcing people to go watch the movie. I think people will go see it just because you know it's, it's them in it or whatever. Yeah, I think and it's still gonna be funny. Cause... Think thinking it's gonna be you know some stoner comedy or something, and then what the fuck? It'll just still happens. be. What it'll still be a stoner comedy. It's those. Yeah, guys. it'll still be funny. <laughs> God, I don't know, man. Yeah, Scott said it. You don't even know? Oh, dude, I'm so into the room. I can't wait to see that shit. I might wait for it to come out on yeah. streaming. Yeah, right. I'll watch it in my room. Yeah, <laughs> watch that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> watch it no, in my room. Well, room. you can. You can watch the room anytime. That shit came out in 2003. Probably will. No, we got to make it down here in LA because they show the room like it's uh, like every midnight on Friday every week. Oh, over yeah. here. You get spooked yeah. at the it's front like a, door, too? Yeah, it's like a Rocky right, Horror right, I'm gonna uh, say, yeah, I know. cult thing. They're like desperately oh, trying to show it to people. Yeah. Yeah. Where do they do that, actually? I have to look that movie up. Like, uh, like one of those art theaters in Santa Monica. Oh, okay. So, very cool. Anything oh. else? Oh, uh... Uh, yeah. Coach? Went to Ikea. Got some, uh, another shelf for my shit. Uh, some, some more lights. Uh, some interesting lights, like for the dioramas. I heard, you stocked, yeah. uh, I heard you stocked Bobby Cannavale. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Richie Finestra. I, I, uh, I met Bobby Cannavale. Or I, uh, I, uh, uh, name. I, uh, I heard you asked him for a teener of coke. <laughs> <laughs> he did not appreciate that. I'm here with my freaking wife. Didn't you see me in Ant Man? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Go watch Ant Man. It's great. I'm trying to buy some fucking furniture. I like, I like, I like him in in, in Win Win. With Giamatti, you guys seen right? that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was good. I didn't recognize him from Boardwalk Empire, man. He played one hell of a fucking gangster. Oh, yeah. Right. Great actor. Jip Rossetti. So was it, was it awkward? Was it normal? Was... It was awkward because, yeah, like, you after I... Pinch- no, no, I didn't, you know, Kevin Spacey shit, but... <laughs> it, was, it was awkward when I put my hand on his ass. I know you work in the industry, Nick, so I was just wondering if maybe you were up to no good like every other man in the industry. Jeez. No, no, I keep my I keep my hands to myself. You're not gonna Gary Keeler us, you're not gonna fucking <laughs> you're not gonna pull any craziness, you're not gonna cosby pill anybody anytime soon. Not anytime soon at least. Hey whatever. Last... I, I watched Ghost Dad last week. It was amazing. The last thing they see is this. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Just fade to black. <laughs> Nick's like, oh. oh, I like shooting dolls. Now I have my own living doll. <laughs> you actually pulled the trigger on that <laughs> case, eh? So yeah, Ikea's man. taken their stab at making their own doll scale making stuff now. Doll scale shit, man. So mm-hmm. I figured I can paint this up and it'll be a nice little, like, uh, gun cabinet. 
That's mm. that's not How much are those people for? It was like a, a whole of... bedroom set for uh, seventeen dollars. It came with this um, this little bed here. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but oh, you will. Uh, yeah, totally. You, you will. can do some credit shit with that, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, First Freddy's thing he thinks is perfect. Freddy. He's like, Freddy's the only one that hangs out in bedrooms. By the way, Nick, how much cheaper is that than the fucking hobby connection or whatever that store's called? Dude, if this, was that, that, if this was that kick craft, this would be like $45. $45. <laughs> 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 it's insanely expensive, but they got everything. <laughs> like a five and would and how, much, how much would you get it for? How much did you get it for? $17. What, yeah. Seventeen. It, it was seventeen bucks <laughs> with, with other pack. things. With yeah, with other, other stuff. Okay, with, other <laughs> with the house. <laughs> wow. So, uh, are, can you pick that stuff up online, Nick? I think so. It's on the website. I yeah, I saw it on there. I saw it. I saw it on there. I saw I Carol it. already ordered everything. Does it right. have weird names <laughs> like Lubin Flagger? Right. Dude, yeah, it's like Puset or something like that. H U S E. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the proper, weird. the proper creepy names. Yeah. Yeah, those Swedes. Those Swedes. <laughs> it was the Swedes. On a side note here, uh, Mark hooked me up with the uh, the Die Hard trilogy box set oh, on VHS. That's your yeah, VHS. he just wow. gave it yeah. to you. What, what a giver! I know. Look at that. <laughs> Mark's like, you have, do you have a VHS or not? <laughs> no, I do. I'm gonna put in my Die Hard shrine. Uh, Oh, word. one of Mark's got, I know he's really into Die Hard, so I had to. Hook yeah. up with I have those two. Mark, like mom, you got that from Mark's and dead grandpa's house. Mark was like, "Well, <laughs> dead grandpa's not gonna need this anymore, so I'm gonna take it over to fucking Nick." Mark's family heirloom. <laughs> His <laughs> grandpa was like, "Anything but the Die Hard trilogy on VHS." Mark, I leave this to you. Mark just snags <laughs> it out of his hand. <laughs> You had to sneak it out of there. With, with John McClane. This is going to my buddy Nick, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, man. Black comedy there a little bit, everybody. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a dead man's copy of Die Hard. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Here, All right, here, Andor here. bought at the thrift store. I just want to give uh, a shout out to somebody really quick. You guys follow Blackpool Toys? Oh, oh yeah, dude. He's oh, yeah. He Jones. has been killing it with those Indiana Jones figures. That's crazy. Fuck. And then he did what? the, uh, he did the, uh, the face app. He used the face app, too, to make him smile, too. Is that what he did? Yeah, it is. That was, oh. That's what you got to do is use that face app. I tried it with the Van Damme. It works, dude. It really works. I mean, what's it called? Just it's face called FaceApp. App. Yeah, it's called Face. But you have to like, you have to like, kind of, because they wanted to use their logo in there, or whatever. So you would have to like crop your shot a little bit afterwards. So, oh, yeah. but yeah, it's it's crazy. Like I like I said, I did it to Van Dam, and he's all like smiling or sad and shit. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Man. He, he told me he like uh, he prints out all his backgrounds and shit. Like yep, yep. he makes them in Photoshop and he like prints them out. Yeah, man. He sure does. Yep. You shit. Yeah. yeah look, right there. Shit. So if you oh, look back shit. at his uh, <laughs> drive That's series awesome. he did in the elevator, he oh, made yeah. that entire elevator. Wow. Right. What? Yeah. Pretty impressive. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dude's mad killing it with the fucking. Hot Toys action for sure. So definitely go check oh, him out, guys. Big shout out to toys. that boy. But how about I hand it off to uh, Sharkman Dave? Sharkies. What's up, fellas? No, bud. What's yeah. up, there? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, pretty good couple of weeks for me. Obviously, we didn't uh, we didn't talk last week, but uh, I went and saw Justice League. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was all right. <laughs> um, it was all right. I actually yeah. didn't mind it, man. I actually didn't mind it. Dude, you know, visually, it was scene, pretty cool. Yeah, I like. I liked. Alone. Yeah, I liked every time he was on screen um, until he opened his mouth. But otherwise. <laughs> 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 but otherwise, it was it was all right. Actually, um, right. I didn't I didn't notice that Superman flaw that everyone noticed as much. I think I was just too big for it. But either way. Right. Who's um, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was pretty solid. Exactly. But uh, that same weekend, you guys probably saw in my story, I went out and to Walmart and picked up a. It was a Cars three, toy set. Oh, like I have seen that. Cool, with like this oh, really cool like that's runner, what that is. Runner, runner thing. But anyway, it was it came with a water oh, tower, and wow. I ended up painting the shit out of that and took off the nice, uh, yeah. that's the whole the whole um, the whole ground piece that it came with. It was pretty silly, but either way, this looks pretty cool now. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I obviously 
that Wolverine mm-hmm. showed up from uh, Art with Toys. So again, big shout out with him uh, to him um, for yes, yeah, sending me that uh, that Marvel Legends classic Wolverine there. I did uh, I did the head swap for the old Toy Biz. I just play. I just yeah. I got to do some painting yeah. obviously. Um, so yeah, you got the uh, got the emotion face there. Obviously just a little bit more it. interesting the head that it came with. Oh yeah, I butchered it. I butchered that Toy Biz. You did just too. For, just, just for the fun of it. <laughs> Ryan Ryan writes me. He's like, dude, you could have you could have just warmed it up and popped it off. And I was like, fuck it, man. I didn't feel like fucking around. I just wanted to ch- shave it right off. I was wondering what that was about. I'm like, what? Yeah. What? No, what happened? I, I had no. I had no use for that figure anymore. It was like he fucked right up. So saws like, it off. He did. Yeah, I had my Dremel with me, and I just butchered it. <laughs> so that was that. <laughs> Can't hate you for yeah. it. No, I didn't care. Um, Got a few pickups, obviously. You guys probably saw I did a photo of uh, this this Venom pool. Like, it's the back in black Deadpool that it uh, came out not too long ago. Nice. Um, just a decent little Marvel Legends um, figure that I picked up. Uh, yeah, I got the, uh, got the NECA cop. Uh, you guys saw me post that recently. Nice. In my story, I just need some uh, some cops. I just I need some background figures like that. They're so, so cheap. Yeah, yeah. You guys saw that I obviously got the, uh, the knockoff Mezco Punisher. <laughs> yeah. right. so I, uh, I beefed off. them up a little bit. I beefed them up ever so slightly by uh, by hooking them up with like a little bit of a leg holster. I threw those uh, knee pads that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago on him, and they actually fit perfectly. They look pretty rad. That's dope. Um, that, yeah, is so, that the real one up there? Those are the WWE Eric? knee pads. Those are the W. Yeah, exactly. Those are the WWE right. knee pads. Yeah, they work. Oh, they work oh, perfectly, man. Hold them both. Hold them both up. Not his cock. No, I thought I, yeah, I thought you wanted to see his pads, man. Cock shot. Oh, but that's, uh, that's him. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah. You can. They look. They look uh, the same. Yeah, bro. No, it's got all the articulation. I've got no complaints about this thing. Just I told you, some you, of the, uh, you just paid way less for yours. Yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. So no, the only complaint and it came that I had with everything too, right? Everything, everything. And uh, I've had a few uh, questions on that one. Um, when I went on AliExpress, they had tons of options, actually. It was like you could buy the figure um, just by itself. You could buy the figure with the stand. You could f- buy the figure with a box with all the accessories. Just just a bunch of different options for you kind of thing. And, and it obviously all varied in price. So I, I just went with the one that I kind of wanted, you know, without the box, uh, certain certain gear. <clears throat> And they even had the deluxe deluxe option there. So, mm-hmm. so for anybody who else who's looking for it, you know, it's probably still on AliExpress. By all means, you know, just download wow. the app. It's free, and and it's and it's very similar to eBay. But I had I had way less complaints than I've ever had with fucking eBay. So, <laughs> are, are you picking up that deluxe version? I'm I'm probably gonna now now yeah. just for other options. You know what I mean? Now I that's that. not going to be a bootleg but, version. It'll be the legit one. It's at whatever version this is, man. Because like. Oh, the wow. the AliExpress the AliExpress Snoop, price a, for the uh, deluxe is only is only like seventy bucks. So I mean twenty wow. bucks more than what. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. So yeah, you should get on that up. stuff while you can. If if it's oh, a bootleg and it has some quality, you might as well. Oh, I got no complaints, and it was from the same seller. So that's crazy. Uh, wow. Super pumped. Wow, that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all it came down to. I I, you know, I showed you a couple of you guys that I picked up some Rit dye today. I, there you uh, go. I tried out uh, I tried out a bit of a, a dye project with um, my Jim Lee Punisher. I dyed his hands a little bit better. Um, Sick. So it was, yeah, so his sleeves and his hands weren't uh, weren't as you know visibly white, cause especially in the creases there in the joints where I was starting yeah. to fold. Yeah. Obviously, it was starting to become visible. So I dipped him a little bit. I talked to Eric about that, and obviously got a little bit of guidance. So. <laughs> Dude. That made it. Uh, that made it look a little bit better. And, uh, and yeah, the you guys die game that. strikes again. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, that game. was my first experience with it, so so that worked out for me. Nice. I got no complaints in that department. It took a little bit, actually, Eric. I was trying. Uh, oh, I was, yeah. you know, you said to dip it for a couple seconds, but it had no effect on this one. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, was, varies. Was, was, it varies. from the plastic. Yeah, and yeah it's tough. Finishing right. stuff it's they have good. on it. Yeah, I was gonna try sh- shaving it down a little bit, sanding things down, but I uh, honestly, I just kind of like, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try this again. I dipped it for a little bit longer, and it started to take effect, so that was good mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, and you guys saw that I pieced together some uh, some diorama. Yeah, I just put, it's impressive, a man. Of, mm-hmm. A little bit of a rooftop dio. It's very simple. Um, it's not very even quite cool. finished. I've got a couple gaps here that you can see on the uh, on the very edges that I want to kind of fill in a little bit, but otherwise. Yeah, 
it was ba- honestly I was looking at Extreme Stats website, and I'm I'm obviously going to pull the trigger on uh, on one or two of those, but I was I was really reluctant, or sorry, I was yeah I was debating on buying the uh, the older rooftop that they had there, the building that had like the rooftop piece that it comes with. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to save my pennies and get a cool one, like the gas station or some shit like that, and just build myself a fucking rooftop dial since I only want something nice and simple like that. So it's going to be exactly tough building the gas station, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. So, yeah. no, and I had that, uh, and I have this fucking water tower that I just picked up, right? So I nice. wanted to uh, that get works. used to it, right? Yeah, so so that was obviously the purpose behind that, and I got home early, and uh, my last couple clients canceled on me for the day, so I was like, hey, babe, why don't you help me out with a fucking tie And she was willing, so... Yeah, it was cool. cool. Yeah. Nothing yeah. like a willing woman. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and a willing <laughs> anus. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa, he went there. Yes, and a willing <laughs> anus. That was, he went brown. Something else. That was something uh, else there. Is that, kind, is that kind of party, huh? <laughs> All right, so you want to you wanna run this uh, you wanna run this clip here and uh, talk a little bit about what's going on here. So we oh, have shit. a uh, yeah, so. motion picture-ish here from our buddy uh, Dave. It's just oh, a bit shit. of a film reel. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, speaking with um, speaking with you guys, you know, in the film industry, I've got uh, I've got a couple things under my belt too. My best friend Lee is a director, so um, he put together this quick little film reel that uh, you know of all the pieces and little bits that I've done for him. This one specifically, when to go, was a was a was one of my favorites, where we got oh, to uh, where we got to play this tactical team who goes in and tries to find out what this what this Wendigo is and it starts killing us off one by one in the spirit of like Jaws or Aliens where you don't really find out what it is until the end. You know? so it's, wow. It was pretty cool, man. Shit. It was shit, dude. That is yeah, it was, uh, we had some good quality cameras. We were using these reds, honestly, like same quality shit that they were using Damn. for Dark Knight and stuff like yeah, that. Holy so shit. Um, holy shit. Yeah, and we had, that was Elvis Stoiko. I don't know if anybody knows what I do Stoico actually. Is. I do actually. <laughs> Skater? <laughs> Who? Famous Canadian figure skater, skater? actually. He's, yeah. <laughs> dude, he's well rounded for a lot of shit. He's got he's got like martial arts under his belt. He's a fucking NASCAR racer. Like Hell it's crazy. Yeah. But uh but honestly, yeah, and he uh, and he helped us out with this project and now Lee has got him hooked on for a lot of stuff actually. So uh you know, like uh I'll I'll keep you guys posted because we've got some cool projects in the works. Whoa. But uh, Whoa. this was the first yeah. one that I ever did with him where I where I play his uh, his straight best friend. I just this gay guy who finds out he's a <laughs> yes. And I walk with my ass yes. Yeah. So was- <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Way to go out with a bang, huh? <laughs> go back to the that, that was the way he thought I should end the film though, so. That's amazing. That's funny. That's a nice touch. That's, uh, that's that's pre Dave Trainer right there. <laughs> so that's a very <laughs> flat ass, but either way. <laughs> you said pre Dave. That's, that's that's like that's the beautiful. number that's the number that's one rule that was right there. He got deep into squats and kettlebells. Yeah. That's it. No, but that's the, that's <laughs> the number one rule, dude. Always give him an ending. How is that with your ass Kim Kardashian? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, the He's even got this like mini score to this little uh, to this little clip that we're watching here, which kind of suits suits the reel and whatnot. But then at the end of the at the end of the reel, it has uh, this very upbeat kind of silly music that's yeah. playing along with uh, mm-hmm. us at the gay bar scene. So it just it really it really suits the vibe. I don't no, know. Dave, it works. Dave, Dave, looks, looks like guys, looks like we're gonna have to take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> in this in the scenario specifically, yeah. Dave, dog's pissed. Oh. Did anybody give you any tactical training about how to clear a building or anything like that, or did you guys just have to kind of fake it? Honestly, Mark, I've been into that shit. Like, like you, like you guys know, mm. I've been, you know, I'm a military enthusiast, but uh, I've been into that shit since I was a fucking kid, bro. So, like, since like nine, ten years old, I, me and my buddies were like looking up videos. My my uncle actually passed down these fucking old VHS of like Navy SEAL training and like fucking special ops training. I used to watch that shit like a fucking madman just because I was into it, just because I was into those dudes. And I actually like started to replicate that stuff. So I got into paintball, airsoft, and then, you know, just kind of, it even grew with me, man. Even when I was like 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I was still YouTubing on like how to tactically breach fucking buildings and like how to clear corners and how to pie corners and how to like work with a team and how to like fucking communicate with just your fucking hands and you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff, man. Like I just got really into it. So even to this day, you know, that's still, are you sure still you're not fun. an American? What the fuck? I never heard a Canadian <laughs> guy talk like this. I know. I know it's, it's weird, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm big into it, bro. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Wow. And you were never in the military? 
No, I, well, I was in cadets for years, but that was that's all it ever went to, kind of thing. Like I just, I, I kind of wow. fell out of it for whatever reason. I, I think I got into this phase where I was just like, oh, it's not cool anymore. But then, like three years later, I was like, what the fuck, dude? You're an idiot. Because <laughs> now I feel well, like you don't, I, you don't, you've never had any formal training in tactical movement or anything like that. You have never been to like any real classes no, taught by no, military instructors no, or anything like that. No, no. Okay. I, well, technically, I, I I did two weeks at this guy who who was in Israeli special forces. He taught Krav Maga. And he showed us a bunch of things while he was teaching us, you know, some some self defense. But uh, beyond that, no. Mark's okay. trying to Mark's trying to yeah. bro check you, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, know nothing. You know <laughs> nothing. <laughs> like, what kind of training can you have for the movie if you didn't know what subject, though, because, he's bro, he's bro checking the shit out of you right now. That's, that's man. <laughs> this past week, I've been, I've been trying to reach out in this in this light, trying to trying to touch, you know, get in touch with people that are in this industry because I've been trying to get into voice acting as well as as well as do tactical roles and stuff oh, like yeah. this, where it's like it's literally just kind of like it's called um, special skills ex- extra. So like mm-hmm. you show up show up on set for things like you know um, one of my buddies Murray actually who's in the movie uh, Windigo that we did there the proof of concept he actually got uh, picked to go on set for uh, oh dog barking <laughs> who let the dogs out <laughs> he got uh, he got chosen to go on set for uh, for what was it uh, in Suicide Squad he's like a SWAT member just because he's like he's got all these special skills extra you know what i mean extra abilities kind of thing like he's been he's been doing stunts he he was in the military for a year kind of thing so he's got some of that um but you know otherwise you know him and i have worked together a whole bunch and he's he just kept pushing me being like dude you got to try this out too you know so i i've been doing this work lee and now uh, i reached out to this guy this past week um who's also toronto based uh, who does the exact same type of stuff like tactical roles and all this kind of stuff so he's trying to hook me up with an agency and now it's now i'm just trying to see where it goes <laughs> Well, hell yeah, man. He could be the next Jim yeah. Carrey. Tactical Jim Carrey. <laughs> Jim Carrey. You could, could, could uh, uh, you guys know fill, in, fill in for yes. for Freddy Cruz on the, the midnight hour. Yeah, yeah. You guys know who uh, Max Martini is? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, from the so like, he was in he fit, exactly. He was in a few movies now. He was in 13 Hours with John Krasinski and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, he's he's kind of I, I don't know. I, I I like his shit a lot for whatever reason. He's typecast, obviously. This whole military kind of <laughs> it's like a badass. Yeah. Yeah. Leader. Yeah. Exactly. And and he usually ends up playing some spec ops role. So I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of going that in that whole realm where I'm like, you know, I wouldn't mind to be typecast in that kind of shit because that's just what I'm into. So. Absolutely, if, man. If I can typecasting is totally cool. Typecasting means that means you're work. working. Right. Yeah, you're yeah. Work. Mm. In, it means in, you don't have to like stretch. It's not like yeah. they're like telling you to play yeah. the gay guy or anything, you know. Yeah. And I've got all my. Well, I mean, he already on. did, so he already checked out. <laughs> <on his list. laughs> Listen, Atlas I was the, chaps. I was yeah. the straight. Yeah. Man. I was he the was the straight, straight guy. guy. Oh, he had to reiterate that. Yeah. That's why I said. <laughs> oh. No, but that's all my own. So deal. you don't own Atlas. It's me running around in it's it's all my own stuff. So that's that's what makes this this film thing more fun because they're usually like, oh, do you do you have stuff? Kind of thing, and you can show up on set with you know everything that you got, so it's cool. Oh, yeah. He had assless chaps. Wow, <laughs> wow that's crazy. <laughs> that that's like a revelation for you guys, chaps. dreadnoughts. Dave, we had to, Dave has assless chaps. <laughs> we literally, literally didn't even have the money to buy leather assless chaps, so we took fucking, they're expensive. Uh, like, took like Under Armour pants, like those fucking compression pants, and just cut the asses out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they're expensive, dude. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch that video again, look closely, you'll see that. Just look closely. You'll see something. Very, very cool. Very, very cool, brother. Thank you for sharing, obviously, all that with us. Cool. So yeah, what's absolutely. up, Eric? What you working with? Yeah, let's, see. let's see, Eric. Oh, he went back. Oh, Oh boy. <laughs> Dave. The show gets happened? gayer every episode. Yeah, what happened to your ass? <laughs> <laughs> it was it was forever non existent until these days. So. You should have put, you you should have put a lot. I should have said actor slash ass man. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had a stunt ass. <laughs> but, uh, I could have called Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> Al Pacino's ass. All right, let's Al move Pacino's away from ass. your ass into the other ass on the podcast. I don't know, Eric. Guys. Don't want to keep talking about my ass. I'm good with it. <laughs> What's going on with you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, Are you, I was going to say, you're, uh, you're Norbit? <laughs> All right. 
Hallelujah. It's December, guys. Hallelujah. It's December. Yay. Talk to, talk to us about Christmas, Eric. And your, all, all your Christmas photos. Every day is fucking Christmas for me, yo. Every day is oh. Christmas. That's oh. cute. He's balling uh, that hard. <laughs> but yo, honestly, guys, let's. Um, I need to talk to you about some figures I got. Uh, I want to get over uh, and talk about the figures I got a couple weeks ago. I got the first wave of the Power Lords. Oh, snaps. Is. Dude, Lords Four Power. Horsemen Power Lords. I got the first Fuck wave, man. which is three figures, and the rest of the other figures are all variants of these, pretty much. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm not mm-hmm. spending money to get them. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you see I already shot all these figures. They're fucking super awesome. They're, mm. I'm super happy because like around these times, the companies open up and sell off remaining stock and shit. Just like, I don't know if that was if that's what Plan B Toys is doing or not, but Four Horsemen was doing it. So, yeah, got the first wave Power Lords. I'm super stoked about those. Um, yeah, because they might have held o- held off on some of them in case there was QC issues or anything like that, and then they'd forget about them, and then they're like, oh yeah, we got these. Anybody want them? I mean, there's so many reasons as to why there would be leftover stock of something, right? So they had them, and dude, these three three-quarter inch line is amazing. I love, love, love mm-hmm. them. Kickstarter shit too, you know what I mean? So that's extra, a bit of extra special like sauce on the fucking biscuit. I'm really digging <laughs> what you're putting out with those things, man. It's really cool. Secret sauce. Different. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Different. that. Dude, the Power Lords, Outer Space shit. Exactly what this is going along the same theme. I got this. Bros, this figure is a Outer Space Man figure from the Four Horsemen line. Around the same time as the Power Lords, around 2013 and shit, these came out. But, uh... This was listed improperly on eBay, and I got like a ridiculous deal on him. Got him really? for like I got him for like fifteen dollars. So that guy didn't like, have any idea what he was that saying. So this figure, the next figure of him on eBay is like two hundred. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, he came up. So oh. awesome figure. This is Colossus Rex, the man from Jupiter. This is Four Horsemen, Outer Space Man figure. Super hype. Uh, three three quarter scale, love it, love it. Space Outer man. space shit, yo. Outer space shit, I love it. <laughs> Get your space on, dude. I do. Space <laughs> is space is the place, according to Space Hog. Space Jam. Dude, yeah. Um, Yowzers. So space burp. <laughs> <laughs> Rude, I, thought, I, thought, I, thought I, I thought I actually thought I had mute on. Super loud. Excuse me. You didn't have it on. My this ears is why are chicks don't listen to this show. Instead, instead, we all tasted what you just ate. Thanks. I swear you just, to God, I thought it was muted. You just cropped up to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Because <laughs> I did it just like into the mic and everything. I thought it was muted. <laughs> like, it's muted. Who cares? <laughs> He's like, let me do it super loud because it's muted. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you literally just in the middle of talking? Why'd you think it was muted? <laughs> Because I had just taken it off mute too, but I had muted right now while I was looking through it. I'm super fast. And then I'm sitting buttons. down. And I'm sitting yeah, down, putting on socks, <laughs> and I just fucking burp. Talk. I don't know. By far the most professional podcaster. Yeah. <laughs> were we talking? About, were we talking about cleaning this episode up? Yeah. We'll just uh. uh we made it dirty. Well, These are, this we'll is go great, ahead and uh. This is gold. Let's go ahead and fast forward that part. Now this is gold. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's like, I hate all you guys. It was my week. I want to talk about this game this year. Looking for twerking videos. Please don't fart on my week anymore. <laughs> Koji's like oh, crying. Oh, it's muted? I'm going to fucking jerk off the cup. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck it. Oh, 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 it's muted? I'm gonna fucking jerk off. <laughs> God, guys, I'm almost done. Don't, don't consider me like Lucy Tan. Fuck, man. It's not weird if we're all friends. I just ripped yeah. it real quick. <laughs> everyone, everyone wants to watch a train wreck, right? right. Super dope. Good stuff. I don't want to, uh... 
I don't want to drag up the topic, but these Plan B figures. Oh, hey, man. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, dude. Hell you got yeah. Case. Uh, these are fucking <laughs> so good. Yeah, those are sweet. <laughs> Guys. Yeah, you shot with those. Didn't for the price, that man. Captain America shot? That. I mean, I put a little something out. Not, not yeah, special. Yeah, Captain but America I, shot was beautiful. I got yeah, mad dude. plans for these still, too, to come. Um, these figures are amazing, guys. The Plan mm. B is just like uh, uh, Lens turned me on to the fact that they're selling mm. so Lens is a they turn on like better than NECA. Yeah. I fucking inter- I internet jerked him off for that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I splooged him. I web jerked you. I web you guys, you guys <laughs> up on my He dark web jerked you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God, I went on the dark the rabbit hole. And reach true. <laughs> but yeah, and it's you know true. what? You guys know that these are World War II figures, so there's like Nazis and shit, which is crazy to me. Yeah. Ooh, so there's even like snow ones, eh? Dude, mm-hmm. this is... No Nazi. This is crazy to me, actually. I'm like, yo, there's like... Super God. dope. But, sure. I mean, it is what it is. You can take dope World War II, even like... Seen them, up, uh, seen them up with a Trump figure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Barrel, it's all you. Dude. Yeah, that was another thing. I saw I saw that, that Trump figure this, this weekend. I almost bought the fucking thing. Did you? Which one? The six scale one? The one yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the, the middle one finger. finger. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the little one. The little one. The piece yeah. plastic, right? The little short. Yeah, that's like 20 yeah, yeah. bucks. What else you got there, Eric? So, so oh. Dana had to get the Dana. Dana Ghoul. Yeah. Dana had to get the Dana from Ghostbusters uh, Diamond Select figure, which is pretty fucking dope, guys. It's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty cool. Nice. It's cool. I've had mine for like right? two years, Eric. Yeah, no shit. You like the game, son. <laughs> <laughs> goes well that, with that, the... That, party, that party's over, bro. It's not a competition, guys. <laughs> it's not it goes a competition. well with my recently acquired fucking oh, Slimer. That's sick. Nice. So... Yeah. He's all that's articulated. The, yeah, that's from the Mattel line. Those came oh, like God, with God. a figure. His arms are super articulated, so it gives him nice playability. I got this, so nice. Yes, it does. Nice. He's job. like, this is a shot. Put him in a <laughs> gonna shoot Some, it. A chunk of dial piece. I don't even know which way's up on this. Oh yeah, thing. there's so many of those pieces, man. Mm. <laughs> I don't even know. It looks like a, It looks like an entertainment center. That took me like hours to figure that out. I was like just shoving shit together. That's because you know um, Legos as a boy. I did too. <laughs> just stepped on. Not enough. You know I played what? with a lot of Legos. I went to a local show, build guys. Either. Sick, Mark. I went to a local fucking little mini con show, collectible show, and this is where I got the uh, Slimer here. So I also got from that show a dude was selling the Fison Swamp thing. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. So that is, a, that is a Mattel version, San Diego Comic Con. Mm. Nice. I was watching that the other day, too. Mm-hmm. So, this thing is fucking impressive, guys. Yeah, no Underneath shit. there is like an app crunch and everything. He's been jealous ever since I let him mm. touch mine. PX90. That's right. You know, P90. all the, all the oh. joints are. <laughs> Shows how much I know. That's how much I work out. <laughs> That's why your abs ain't popping, son. <laughs> <laughs> Got that Pfizer fucking swamp thing. Dudes. I got this old school uh, oh, yeah. man yeah. spider or something like that. That's a dope one. Yeah, that's this, sweet. The big oversized uh, six-legged Spider-Man with a spider head and shit like that for yeah, us. Yeah. Dude, you should do a completely back black background and then get spider webbing and make a huge <laughs> amount of webbing and have that thing in there and shoot that. That'd be <laughs> Dude, there's so many options with this thing. You can get some nice, cool charging poses out of them and shit. Yeah, that's and I got this like the, the '90s animated yeah. show, right? So yeah, I believe with, so. Yeah. Yep, yeah. that was a standalone. Yep, that's from mm-hmm. Toy Biz. No, that's not. That's an original Toy Biz. That was one of the first no, uh, Spider-Man Legends. classics. Yeah, it was yeah. part of the Spider-Man classics before they actually called them Legends, but it was the Spider-Man okay. classics lines. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that was a standard issued uh, figure. Was like you know eleven, twelve bucks. Dude, it's really big. And I also found this tied up Spider Man that's dial Diamond. Ass. That's from Diamond mm. Select that came with the, oh, uh, the Green perfect. Goblin figure Green Goblin. from Diamond yeah. and Select. Yeah. So it's a tied up Peter Parker figure, which uh, he has his like exposed Spider Man costume a little bit and have his little mm-hmm. regular outfit as well. It's Peter Parker face. Just a, just a statue, but it's a cool little dial piece. Cool. Yeah. 
Diamond Select Dude. IOPs. You'll have some use for that, man. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got that the same thing. Uh, this is a, a Four Horsemen D-Day uh, figure. Four Horsemen sculpted this figure like for a random company that made a D-Day anniversary figure. Wow. And it's missing a bunch of fucking equipment and whatnot, but this figure is really cool. It's on scale of what we like, uh, 112 shit. And it has, like, all the articulation, and it just was, like, out of nowhere, like, just randomly. It comes out of a book. Am I, am I right? There's, yeah, there's, like, a book attached yep. to it. And those, are made, those are made by, um, uh, what's it? Those are, um... Art Asylum or something? No, it's like I think they're Four Horsemen, or they're either Four Horsemen. The four Horsemen or did sculpt these figures. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that it came with a whole series, like a book nice. series type of deal, and it was a figure on like the cover of it or whatever. So they will fit perfectly. I knew perfect. they would fit good with the. What's plan up with these eyes, though? He's a little like stylized, mm -hmm. like he's almost he, like a, a little Ken Barbie. Mm -mm. Yeah, like he's like yeah. a young, he's like a young man almost. You know. He's shy. He's he's upset about having to <laughs> well, go really, in the he, army. He's a young man going off to war. Yeah, he looks uh, stoic. He looks, he looks very naive. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that guy can get talked to turn into Captain America. <laughs> he's the 16-year-old who lied about his age. <laughs> um, dude, that Plan B box set is huge. Like, look at all these fucking figures. Just figures for days. And you haven't even opened all of them yet. They're got, great, huh? I opened three of them, and I still got a massive box full of unopened They have ones. dope little yeah. signs and banners they come with, too, that you can put in the backgrounds. They're like little uh, cardboard dial pieces that say things. That <laughs> say things? Oh, uh, yeah. They like <laughs> they have a description of what they are. Cutouts. Yeah. Like what unit they're in and stuff like that. Yep. Yep. Really nice. Really nice. Uh, and the last thing I got, guys, as far as purchase goes... Is the Home Alone figure? Home Alone. Yeah. You say something about Home Alone. Homos? Yeah, they brought these back again. Yeah. The Home Alones. Yeah, these never got. These actually nice. never got bootlegged. So. Did they have these in A Miami? No, you guys got these back again. Dude, I was actually. You've been, you've been you've been putting on some good shots with them too, bro. Thank you, yeah, nice. man. I've been killing. Really cool it. shots. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Time, Thank you, bros. Thank you, thank you. But yo, I was pissed because I did find. Gonna have locally. to copy some of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With weed, though. <laughs> With weed, yeah. That's, With that's weed, though. Twist. That's barrel Hello, twist. dude. Just give me a shout out so I get some of those likes. <laughs> <laughs> give me. <laughs> but yo, guys, please. <laughs> These are uh, outstanding figures. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting them this month. That's They're it. They're so good. <laughs> yeah. They do not come with this flame piece, by the way, guys. That's, that's from that. That's from that. Is it or is it from that's that? That's Green uh, Goblin Marvel Legends. Oh. Yeah. It's not the yeah. Tamashi. <laughs> no. Oh, that's what I thought it was. It's not Tamashi. But it, you know? it totally should come with a fire piece, I think, but it doesn't. Definitely should. I, I almost that, think man. like they missed. Uh, like we need a st we still need an ultimate Home Alone set actually because these are still mega, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We need an accessory yeah. set yeah. with yeah, traps and shit. With ultimate traps and shit. Traps. <laughs> 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 buckets with fucking yeah, yeah you you know. Dude, the, how small? Uh, can you, how small can you get the micro machines? Or like fucking dust, oh, like yeah. dust, dust, oh, micro dust accessories. <laughs> <laughs> Toys how cool would it be? Easy to produce. How cool a little dial piece of like the stair set with like a fucking nail in it be? Yeah. <laughs> um. And you know what, guys? What I've been playing with, like I said before the show started, was the articulated icons again. I busted them out and yeah. started doing a bunch of swapping and shit on them. I swapped all the uh, samurai armor onto the white ninja's body. Can I give so you? Can I give you an idea though for the Home Alone though, Eric? Because I'm not going to do it. Absolutely. Fucking buy another Marv and throw a shit ton of random ass paint on him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that shit. I was like, if you just like Jackson Pollocked his ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> And he put his clothes, put his clothes on a skeleton. Yeah. Yes, exactly. He's on a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I was. I was thinking. He has the best face, bro. He's the best face. <laughs> <laughs> he's in, he's in no great scale. Get, get, get. 
Why can't they release another figure in that scale? What the scale? fuck is so funny about me? <laughs> I love that scale of that figure. Dave, what are you saying, Dave? It's like a fucking clown. No, no, no. I was just saying, like, yeah, you should, uh, you should do that treehouse scene. Them climbing across the fucking. I water thought about that too. Yeah. yeah it does make come a, with. Yep. It comes it with the. It comes, comes with the bicycle too. So Kevin actually yeah. does yeah. come with that house, accessory. I'll just find a treehouse image. There you go. Yeah, it'll be easy enough. Yeah, and just and then out a window. Yeah, I don't know. You, who knows? You, who knows? Dude, I can just have him fire. just. I can just have him dangling, fucking like, going across this way too. You yeah, know with trees yeah, out under him and stuff. That would look. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Or but, climbing down the brick building from the second movie. Bros, honestly, yeah. I put out so much Home Alone, I just took a little break. I'll probably get back to it in a couple days. <laughs> yeah, give, us, give, give, give a couple of break. us some shots. Jeez. He was talking about Macaulay, and come. he started having fucking weird thoughts and shit. I got them. So I'll be shooting Honestly, soon. I'm not going to lie, guys. I, um, Don't lie. I'm, okay, we're in Home Alone season, by the way. I agree. Yeah, obviously. Home Alone is being played on every yeah. single week, a couple hours. And I'm watching DVR. all of it. And I'm watching oh. them all. Every time. If it's on, on DVR, I'm watching dude. it. I'm not mad. No. That's dedication yeah. to uh, Kevin. Yeah. I, I strung up this fucking that's boat. Kind of, uh, that's oh, you kind did? Of nice, that's dude. Kind of yeah, pervy in today's climbing. Wow. Nice. Damn. Dude, that looks good. Hell yeah, it does. Yeah, I was the first one to do that, Eric. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first man to string a toy bow. <laughs> It's all him, That's Mark, why I teach everybody. classes now called Toy Bow. Nobody ever did anything before Mark did everything. Yeah. He's got to remind you every me. time. You guys got to re remember that. No one ever thought of putting a piece of string on a fake bow and arrow. <laughs> no. Good for you, yep. Mark. Yeah. Where would we <laughs> be without original, your guys. geniosity? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for your Thanks for the lucky that my geniosity is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Oh, yeah. good. That's in front. Week, guys, I've just been fucking collecting figures and shooting them and working and getting stoned and fucking forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> That's it. All right, yeah. Daryl, what's up with you? Uh, no, just working. I'm busy. Yeah. I'm busy. Uh, yeah. Fantastic a week. Scatter, squeezing uh, <laughs> a couple figs. Actually, squeezing I got them figures? Week. Well, I got them like last week. But, uh, oh, tell us. What'd you uh, get? What'd you get? Got the eleven and the the hopper. Oh, cool. Do they suck? Do they suck balls? Bro, like I think they look really good, but the fucking movement is whack. You know, suck, uh, Even yeah. hopper. Like I wish uh, stiff. Yeah, like, like, stiff? like no, they they you know they got you know the elbows and knees, but I I wish the the waist would <laughs> articulate. It's just straight. Like you can you know like you can't they can't none of them can turn at the waist. Oh mm. shit. Which sucks. They can't even mm. turn? No, 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 no. That's it. I mean, their heads turn. Their knees bend. <laughs> their heads they're, turn. Yeah. Maybe you could turn it like a like man. You just didn't turn it hard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, man. But in the uh -huh. pictures. Nah, man. In the pictures, when they showed that shit in, in, at least I thought, you know, when they showed it in the, in the, the Comic-Con, whatever, the reveal pics, like I could have sworn, like, you I could clearly you. see. I removed that it. She had a joint. I took it away. On the waist. I took it away, actually. I said, you right? guys don't need this. <laughs> you fucking cocksucker. I knew you did. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Todd. <laughs> yeah, but, but whatever. It works. This is Todd. And, uh, I know. It was $10 more. Dollars, and I said, nope. <laughs> Next time you should leave it on. <laughs> That's, what she said. That. That's what she said. That's what she said. And charge the extra 10 <laughs> And charge the extra 10 <laughs> Very cool. Are you gonna are you gonna pick yeah. up obviously the rest of the line then, or are you? Uh, pretty I don't know. About the I think uh, yeah. I think I mean they're not they're on eBay. They're like forty fifty bucks. Those things are twenty dollars uh, in the store. Right? They're not worth yeah. They're mm. not worth more than twenty bucks, bro. McFarland's okay. finally got yeah. a hit on his hands. Good for you. So don't dogs. fucking don't Jones and buy it on eBay for forty dollars. Well. For forty, they, for I'll tell you for twenty, it's all right. For forty, they suck. Right. I think for you know? twenty, they kind of suck. You know. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, I, I mean whatever. I, I, just, for 20. I just don't like the... I like them better than the Funko ones. Mm. Like those, Funko. you know, can't even see her face. <laughs> All right, Mark, what's going on with you? All right, so uh, this week, uh, my, our cool dude who's on the show with us right now, Koji, um, he dropped by and dropped off a uh, John Wickhead that he custom painted for me that he got from Casting mm. Cave. 
Much appreciated, dude. I finally now have a John Wick locked, cocked, and ready to rock. I got to shoot this guy still. <laughs> Haven't had a chance. I've been uh, shooting stuff all week. Also, I saw Nick the other day, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So five. Five extra heads of these. So these are going out to some special dreadnoughts. These are actually the heads, the Dylan heads from um, NECA. So Project Piper Customs was able to put these things together. And he casted these himself. So these are a combination of the Sarah Connor hat and then the Apollo Creed head from NECA. Genius. That's cool. And he fucking casted them. And now I got a bunch of them here. So when I send out some... uh, some some packages to some special dreadnoughts. I'll let you know ahead of time, and uh, some of you guys will be lucky enough to get one of these. Um, I might paint the batch myself if people are interested, or I'll just send them to you blank, and you can paint them on your own. We'll see what you guys want. But uh, yeah, I got a bunch of these. So thanks, Nick, for swinging by and dropping those off. I really appreciate it. And Project Thank Piper you. Customs, huge shout out to you, man. That's fucking incredible. Yeah, what you've done we really appreciate your work he's all the way across the pond in the uk and i'm normally not really cool with those queen lovers but uh he's a good uh-huh. dude wow. I really like him man he's a really good dude so for a frog like, breather bro? for a frog breather this american over here we love you project piper customs you're the fucking man dude you great you gotta just, do you have to like shit on everybody that's not from america yeah, yeah. Who, who do uh, you yeah, like man, i love america that much <laughs> Well, if you really want to just isolate us from everybody else, you know, maybe. Oh, you're going to cry. Well, you should, maybe you should cry about it. <laughs> yeah. America. So uh, the America. other thing that I picked up this week was uh, I got this Bucky O'Hare that showed up uh, from Boss Fight Studios. It's fucking super dope, super legit. It has tons of articulation. He even has toe crunch here, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I highly recommend this. If you guys haven't gotten on this, you should probably pick this thing up. I don't think it's sold out yet. But uh, if you're a Bucky O'Hare fan, like I was when I was a kid, it's definitely cool. And um, that's pretty much all I got. I did want to talk about, we were going to talk about figures that we opened and they break right away. (laughs) So uh, the one that I was going to talk about was uh, specifically the Predator 2 NECA alien from Predator 2. This thing... Oh, no. All of his pieces are super delicate, and uh, be wary. As soon as you pull this thing out of the package, the parts are going to start to break. So this thing I got a little bit of a gripe with, but that's about it. How was your uh, week, Jared? My week. Um, I'll try to go ahead and uh, breeze through. Obviously, I have to use my uh, shared screen going on here, so... First thing I got, let's start the shared screen. Do you guys not see it yet? And boom. So I did pick up this uh, Bombshells Mm. Kitana figure. Super cool. Very nice. She's a little tall. So don't expect her to go with your articulated icons necessarily. Her feet will come off if you heat them up and remove them though. But she is amazing. Very, very awesome figure. Um, I spent a little bit of time... I did kill two birds with one stone here, so I'm trying to work on this. Uh, this is actually the previews exclusive, uh, very blue Batman figure right here. Um, mm-hmm. I removed the cape off it because the polyester one wasn't dying. Uh, I painted the face black. I dyed all of the extremities. I couldn't get these gauntlets to come off, so I had to actually paint those. I don't know why they wouldn't come off. It didn't make sense. It would turn, but... For some reason, wouldn't come Spelt off. it on? Yeah. It, it, the, no, because they turn. So that's the weird thing. Like, they turn, but for some reason, even though how much I heated it up, it wouldn't fucking come off. So um, I dyed a little bit of the fabric as well. So I actually, it's hard to tell with this and how I lit it and everything. The, you know, looks very, uh, I don't know, kind of like trippy it's not that in real life but i actually did dye some of the (laughs) like i said the actual gray fabric a little bit to bring out some of the accentuations on it i added the wire the cape on the bottom and all that isn't done yet but just a a groundwork and then just a little bit of this dio so i just cranked out easy little dio i had these a window pieces right here so i just made holes for them pushed them out and then used a golf ball to roll around there to give it a little bit of texture and add a little bit of rust to it so oh that's cool man super easy yeah literally just i rolled a golf ball around the entire thing so (laughs) very very easy um the other one is oh i guess i had an oh it's right here 
Uh, pick this up. These are at Target. Uh, these are the, the Lori accessories. So this is a like outside little like uh, swing for your 112 scale figures. It also came with this very, very mm. small piece of grass and these uh, little accessories for your fucking, uh, you know, there's like lemonade and shit like that. But the swing is very big, very cool. It's like 10 bucks. You can pick those up over at, like I said, your target only. So I'll try to do some shots. I just I did this Batman because I like the the yellow um, and the black logo, and that previous exclusive is the only one that had that. But I just didn't really like that baby blue. So um, that is actually it for me. Um, I think actually we are unfortunately getting ourselves into trouble with time. Uh, do you guys want to get into the broken figures, or do you guys want to spend more time no. actually getting into weeks. our weeks? Yeah, yeah, let's just show our weeks. We'll do okay. that next time. Okay, yeah. we got a. All right, that was the wrong version, but still, it's the same song <laughs> anyway. So. This is the Weeks on Instagram portion, and let me get my shared screen off so we can go back into the regular player. And shared screen, and cancel. Camera. Oh! That's dope. Going into Ooh. my shit already. Um, well, this is a shot that I did, very, very simple shot, because, I don't know, I liked uh, the image that, uh, the comic book, I guess there's a Watchmen and Batman crossover, so if you go to the next photo, you can see that, uh, it's an actual image, so he's actually reading Rorschach's Ooh. journal, um, and the back piece is just that same, um, it's the Wayne Manor. Um, it's like a rock piece or whatever, and it was very hard to get that to scale with the the figure and all that. But uh, I really wanted to play with the Werble for this one and actually like use the the candle lit on there and uh, just make it look Ooh, like the awesome. coffee was steaming and stuff like that. So this is actually the Mayfax Batman. I used um, it's the a body. Mattel head actually. Yeah. Um, it's not the Ben Affleck, obviously. Um, the book is the book that comes with that Hugo Strange figure. It's an open and close. It's an open and closed book. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Forget about it. It's an open and close. It's an open closed case. Um, he was reading a journal in the other one, so I mean, it's not obviously proper, but uh, you mm -hmm. know, just uh, really tried to play with a lot of the shadows in this one. I actually had a couple candles lit behind him, so you'd get that more yellow kind of you know tone, and I was like working with uh kind of how scott does kind of like throwing a little flickers in there just to give the back a little bit more accentuation so easy fucking mm. shot but i just tried to make it look cool that's cool dude i like yeah, it man. Yeah, man. batman so it's not the season for it so i figured i'd just go ahead and get it out of the way though um but i've been <laughs> very into these figures obviously i can't put this Mezco Wolverine down and I really haven't seen anybody shooting this thing so I thought I would take a stab at it and I haven't used my C. Jessam Doom outfit and especially I used a different buck than he originally thought would work so that is the uh, Series 2 Doom but yeah just through it's a nice. easy background it's not a computer screen it's a it's a printout uh, Tamashi effects on the ground. That's the, um, I think I might have mentioned that before. If you go and actually just get like dollar store frame glass, you can smash it. It breaks like glass, but it doesn't cut like glass. It's not very sharp. It's almost like a sugar glass would be. Um, but just stuck it on him, made it look like he was coming up from some debris or whatever. Oh, I don't know. It's legit. Love it. I made people fly and stuff. No big deal. You love that uh, Wolverine. You're not gonna do anything to it. it like, doesn't need anything. It actually needs nothing. Unlike you know, like I said, the Batman. And I think when I get the Deadpool, I will probably do the semi black wash to the red on him. But there's, I love how much the yellow pops on this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This figure nice, is dude. super dude. legit sticks. When you come down this fucking wow. this spring, you'll see. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So Eric kind of gave me a really good idea recently. He did say that if I'm going to do these, I should do another photo instead of like actually just, you know, taking the same photo and using, you know, that I should. It's an opportunity to it use is. second shots, you know, right. beast sides if you an will. alternate pose yeah exactly mm -hmm. so yeah i will try to incorporate that so at least get a little bit more bang out of my buck and try to actually think about it because obviously it's like you know i liked the effect of the glass renewal but you only see a little bit of doom's hand and all that so it would have it would have benefited for me to try to have manipulated it in a better way in a different <clears throat> way as well to incorporate something like this to work better so Still fun, man. You're trying to get your money's worth out of that Wurble app and shit. So. <laughs> get your money's worth. <laughs> I mean, dude, app, these apps they come and go. Remember uh, Prisma and shit that came. Oh fucking, god, you know, yeah, that I came couldn't. Fast. I couldn't wait for that to go away. <laughs> you know, it's just something else cool that you can apply in your pictures. I get it. It's nice. Great. Cool. Very cool. And then, yeah, just I did a little video here for oh. all the photos that I did in November. So thank you guys for all the comments and all the love. And uh, like I said, I'm just trying to push out, you know, dope Are shit. Are these your fucking nine faves? My faves, bro. <laughs> My super it's faves. Of the month. Congrats on that uh, Toy Pops feature. Thank you. Yeah, I was, uh, was kind of fine. Uh, uh, it's been I a while. It, man. That was fucking hype. Thank you. Cool. I, like I said, man, I love shooting these uh, these one six. Yeah. It's it's a Dude, game changer. So much detail. Yeah, especially the Fizen. Like I said, the <laughs> Step oh. Freddy and her. It's it's a game changer. I can't help it. By the way, Polly's fucking mitt there though. Like God, I I I actually photo like that's one thing you guys like can manipulate as well. If you have an accessory that's not exactly up to scale, that turkey and that fucking mitt. Is not that big. It's tiny. I had to remove his original hand to get that to incorporate. That's actually in his hand is the uh, what's it called? The iron fist, like pointy hand. I just stuck it in there, but I superimposed <laughs> that over the original one to actually make it look bigger. Because the turkey, it's a, actually it's from Casting Cave too. I bought that from Casting Cave, and I didn't know what the <laughs> size of it was, and it came, and it was fucking just itty bitty turkey like i'm like damn Kitty even Kitty. even figmas are like hungry after eating that thing fucking <laughs> so it's just an idea you can do it in pick mix so basically you're just taking the photo and then you're uh putting the exact same image in but you're fubbing everything else out and then you're enlarging you know the one piece so mm -hmm. if hey. you don't have the right things, you still could have the right thing. So it's don't give up. Tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade. Tracks of the trade. So yeah. But uh, yeah, just trying to utilize the you know this. Like I really wanted to open up the fucking kitchen. So I thought it was cool that it looked like okay. I oh, put a door person. and. <sighs> Fuck! I need a kitchen so bad. God we damn. all do. All right, let's go ahead and go to Mark's week. Okay, guys, so this is, uh, I wanted to pay some love to Punisher because I only had shot a few photos when I first got this Mezco 112th uh, original Punisher that they came out with. Um, I just wanted to do some more stuff, so I went ahead and threw this in there with the um, Diamond Select diorama piece, and then I also awesome. decided to turn the pinball machine into a Punisher pinball, so I used a uh, piece that came from a Toy Biz, I believe, Punisher and it's a comic book, so I just kind of stuck that over there and then did a little uh, shopping and added in a little piece of lightning, and it actually worked. All that lighting in there is actually natural. I didn't have to do uh, anything except add that little lightning piece in there, and it just worked out for me. So super hyped on this shot. It seemed like uh, everybody else liked it, and I wanted to uh, make it look like he was shoving a grenade down this dude's throat. So the hard thing was to get this pose going, and also you have to remember that this is a diamond select diorama piece exactly. with a thug. Bigger and scale. Um, he's a lot bigger than yeah. the Mezco Punisher. Right. So this was a perspective shot. So they kind of looked. He's actually kind of climbing up onto his chest is what's really happening underneath there that you can't see. And, yeah, he's uh, super he's small about to go Tony Sticks on his ass. Yeah, he's, he was trying. To, he was actually going to bang his 
belly button, but uh, <laughs> straddle the stuff. It yeah. actually worked out for the shot. I just played with the angle a whole lot. I kept using my tripod and figuring it out. Like, man, how am I going to get this right? Like, how's, how's this going to work? And I shot it from tons of different angles and it didn't work. And then finally I got this one. I was like, this is exactly what I wanted to see. So you see just enough of his hand shoving the grenade into his mouth and then, you know, pushing his head back into the glass on yeah. the uh, pinball machine. So I was, uh, I was pretty happy with how it worked. I wish... The only thing I wish I had was some actual, like, glass fibers, like, in the, uh, kind of going on there. Like, I, I just didn't have any of that. There's some vape smoke in there, but uh, eventually oh, like, I'll probably revisit this when I get a little bit more savvy with Photoshop. And I'm going to actually add some glass little, pieces kind of, like, scattering around his head and stuff. I think Little shards on his shoulder and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like little shards yeah. and stuff. That was just the only thing I couldn't find in any of my apps. And in the effort of saving time... Uh, this got out. This actually, when I released this on Toy Pops, I had just finished it down to the wire, and then I released it right there because I Felton. hadn't been shooting anything. I had a lot of responsibilities going. Is your on. camera is your camera still on, Felton? Uh, no. Okay. Anyways, so um, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I I did a whole series of Punisher. I'm not done. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, yeah, just me like too. Dave, I have a <laughs> Punisher. Yeah, yeah, fetish, so. Oh, I love this one. Yeah. This one. I was yeah. really happy with this one. So I used uh, Leo's. This is Leo's Punisher. He's his uh, toy biz that he uh, customized for me. I added a little more blood to him. And then I used one of the Plan B soldiers, and it kind of looks like he's taking out that one CIA merc. So, of course, this is the quintessential shot because this was the the existential revenge that he wanted to get from the guy who caused Agent all Orange. His, to his family. Wow. Agent Orange. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to capture some of the brutality of that, and I really liked the uh, face sculpt on this one from the Toy Biz, and it just worked out. So I shot this with a couple different Punisher figures, so this is just one of them, and uh, hopefully hopefully you guys like that. I got 300 likes, which is pretty cool. That's rare for me to get, So because there's a lot of haters out there. So. <laughs> good about it. I'd like to thank all my fans, though, for actually clicking the like button. And, uh, extreme Fuck sets as haters. well for picking me up when always sponsor in all my photos thank you extreme sets once oh. again this is uh the next one is another one of frank castle this is another of leo's custom so this is another version of the toy biz frank castle um punisher except this is all blacked out and then he has the skull painted on his face i added a bunch of blood i gave him one of the um neca sawed off shotguns and uh, there we go with a um, Plan B guy with the balaclava that comes with the Mattel Batman, uh, Batman line. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so here we go. We got. Uh, he marked his Frank, gun too. Frank Castle sneaking up on somebody. <laughs> marked again guns. Yeah, and that gun is uh, definitely by Marked Again. <laughs> mm. So yeah, he that one I was really happy about. These are turning out. I'm pretty happy with these. So this is a this is a swip yeah, a or, and or swipe, and these are those uh, these are those um, Plan B guys. I just added some 3A accessories to them as well. So those straps are from 3A. That gun is from Sarah Connor, and then again that balaclava. And then the guy in the back actually has Frank Castle's Mezco 112 uh, gun that uh, 45, which is pretty cool. Hell yeah. Nice, so this is just a little series I did. So Frank Castle sneaks up on these dudes in the uh, sewer down here. And then he sneaks up on the dude with the balaclava, slits his fucking throat. Check oh. yourself, fool. And then he looks down oh. at him and the guy's begging for his fucking life and gurgling and bleeding. And then you see I added some blood to his... Uh, can you back up, Brian? You're going a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> I added some blood there to him and then I added Maybe another blood down below so you can actually see him bleeding out. It's freaking beautiful. Okay. And then here he is. <laughs> just, that that fucking, what's up cool. with that mouse, bro? Yeah, it's a walk away shot here, so <laughs> he's walking away and the dude's kind of still clutching the life there. He's grabbing his throat. Oh shit. Mm. Mark's getting some anger out in his shots. <laughs> <laughs> he's gurgling on his own fucking <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking he was, Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the finale of those two mercs. So you see the other guy dead in the background there, and then Frank is actually enacting his revenge with no weapons here, and he's gouging the eyes out of the uh, bald mercenary soldier. Uh, and so uh, we see that there was a little blood pop, and then he got some blood on his eyes, and he's fucking letting out some frustration and uh, getting Mark some is trying to tell us about gouging people's yeah. eyes. <laughs> 
It's a perfect scene. Like that that scene in the in the Netflix thing was perfect. I was like, dude, I'm gonna redo this a bunch of times. This is that same shot that I did. I just threw this Punisher on top. He said a other bunch one. of times. Yeah, I shot it with every Punisher I got. <laughs> All of them. All of them got this shot. You'll see eventually. You'll see they eventually. All, they, they all got the eyeball treatment. And then, yeah, here's the, yeah, here's just like a zoomed in so you can see a little bit more detail about those uh, eyeballs being popped out. And guys, stage blood goes a long way. What I ended up doing is I got a dropper. And so I have a proper dropper made of proper. glass. <laughs> proper, a proper, proper dropper. Proper dropper. <laughs> what, did you get a squatty potty? <laughs> uh, that's the proper the bath, dropper though. for 19.99. Proper dropper. So if you guys uh, if you guys want to know what to do, hit me up in the DM and I'll show you how to get pretty good proper pretty droppers out of sex with a proper dropper. <laughs> Not proper if you're using the proper dropper. That's right. All right, next Not photo, Ryan. So this got uh, this got eleven likes for this series. Uh. Proper dropper. <laughs> you didn't use the you didn't use the proper dropper. Oh, we posted twice tonight. We posted. No, we did. Well, we've seen this. So these are all. Yeah, we've seen this. I think we've seen uh, these uh, all four uh, times. Rerun. <laughs> Rerun. <laughs> These are revisions. I went it's, back and actually did some photoshopping on these that I like. Today, thir is today Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> is this uh, 2016? Or Friday? Or Friday? Or Friday? Is today Friday? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, two tries. Two tries. And... Short on time. Let's look at old photos. <laughs> Let's move on then, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we are definitely going to your week here, Yuzuki. You want to go ahead and tell us what's going on here? Um. Well, yeah. This this particular shot, I wanted to use that um, bridge dial that Toyo Grapher made for me. Yeah, epic. Um. Yeah, and I wanted to get more of it in, but I just wanted to at this point focus on just the initial. You know. Uh, you took your figure outside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Weird. So, it's an outdoor <laughs> shot, um, and the posing part was kind of tricky because I was going against the wind, and uh, you'll notice that Ninja, his foot is like angled up. That's the only way he would stay for some reason. That's why I don't go <laughs> out there, man. Fuck that wind. No, oh, get that 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 that, that galvanized wire, Home Depot, yeah. sixteen gates. Yeah, sixteen gates. <laughs> But the thing was, was, let me show you how to do that word. Put in dirt. The just throwing it out. Just throwing it out there. Was like popping, so I had to do something. I wanted to do something different. So. Yeah, you definitely captured you know, the light very well. Custom Kylo Ren kit bash here. Yes, it is. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So um. So it's a ninja it. now. Oh. Yeah, that's this next. Good. This next one is super <clears throat> duper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's great like, so I had a few minutes with his son, so I had to work it real quick. Mm. Yeah. These are this, great. This, this particular one, I did another outdoor shot in the following day, but this time I used um, some of that atmosphere assault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, yeah. I want to get some. I want to get some. Atmosphere. I, oh, I, uh, I did hear recently I got that some stuff, here. I, I could shoot you away. I'm that stuff can leave a filament on your figures. Dude, though. I'm going to use residue. it in my fucking little room and everything. Yeah. It does leave a residue, which is why I only use it outside. Right. And it, re it reeks, too. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't use it often. That's good. This is an incredible shot, though, dude. It really gives the fucking the idea that it's in motion, and like you know, that, that's that, that's the idea behind the particle effect is to capture motion, right? And it totally does. It looks so sick. Appreciate it. Thank Definitely. You. Let's let's see Jessam joints too. Yes. Is back there. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. He suspended actually on a um, on a green wire, but I, I airbrushed that out. Oh, <laughs> galvanized wire. Nice. Nice, you got some really nice natural bokeh and shit 16. too. Sixteen. Uh, Did you add, Did you add additional lights on this one as well? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you add additional lights when you're outside? No, this is all sunlight from outside. Nice, all natural, Beautiful. baby. Nice. That's really good, man. Mm -hmm. Stop hate. Stop hating, anyway. Really it's fast shutter speed. Oh no, no, that's why I wanted to know. It's great. I'm There's not really hating, good bro. shadows in there still too. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks out of hand. Looks at it. It's like 17 chills. 
<laughs> Out of 20, that's 17 right there. Right? Oh, it looks fucking... Super dope, dude. Yeah, High those end. are, those High are end. official CGSM pieces, guys. They're not... They're, watch out for those bootlegs, guys. Watch out for those snoot legs. <laughs> snoot you know legs. You know? Let's call them wow. snoot legs. Wow. So is this a... This is a digital blood? That is, yes. It looks great, though. Look, I didn't want to mess the dial up. With I know, life. yeah, right? I was for like, sure. <laughs> I was like, I, this is one of the best digital blood I've seen in a while, so good job. Thank you. Like, I had to actually, like, think about it. I'm uh, like, uh, he did not. I was <laughs> like, no. It's still great, though. I appreciate it. That's and just, is that a body coon with uh, Bruce Lee head on it? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Looks great. Looks great. Uh, Yes, it is. <laughs> yep. He's like, I had nice to get job, them Eric. shoes, man. Mm. Oh, this is dope. I like this video. He's got ESPN rocking Any here chills. with his own ass. Right. <laughs> right? this, is look, this is nice to look at right here. This is dope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Shit. Dude. See, like I said, just little camera tricks and... Killing right. it with boxes. Look at the fucking the little sweat drops on his back and shit. Wow. Right? What'd you do? He's like, I, on it? With the mint? <laughs> It's a little water spray ball. I, I pulled out two spray. nose hairs and sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> and he grabbed his crotch, too. He was like, I'm just sitting here not grabbing my crotch. I'm going to win this fight because I grabbed my two, balls. Two nose hairs and sneezed. So you had a little bit of a, uh, a young kid there uh, kind of debacling with you about the uh, actually these two fighting each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, he wasn't around. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that know he, he wasn't, wasn't actually that. alive when this fight was going on? I mean, <laughs> I can't believe it. Never fight. What's wrong so with you? Where, where, we're what looking world, at what world are you living in? Hot Toys, Mike Tyson. No, and these are Storm Collectibles. Storm. Right. Right. Bite, your, bite your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll bite your ear off. Time to backpedal. Teach his children. Are you going to have him bite anybody's ear off? Like, you know I take bites. I started to do a B-side shot of that just for the hell of it, but I didn't do like it. Like him spitting it out, like <laughs> just hanging out of his mouth. He's like, I got it. <laughs> I caught it. I caught if it. you doing Storm Collectibles Facebook page, somebody uh, did that. I bet. Yeah. Mm. I, I sculpted Eve. <laughs> which one, Super if you had impressive. to only get which one, which one would you have gotten? Oh, God. Uh... If I had to get only one, probably Muhammad Ali. Nice. Yeah. Float like that butterfly. The price stung I like mean, a bee. We yeah. can hope. <laughs> we can hope for a one twelve Muhammad Ali. Maybe. Maybe. That would be nice. I mean, all you got to do too is paint that NECA one up. I mean, yeah, but look at the storm shit. Oh like yeah. It. Right. You're dealing with completely all the new materials and shit too. All right. Um, shit. Dope. Next. Super dope. That was. Did you post anything? Very good way. <laughs> yeah. Dope shit, dude. Excellent, bro. Can't wait to see more. Yeah. Really cool, man. Thank we you. got I got Jad City going on here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh -oh. Welcome to prime time, I gouging. This was uh. Yeah, this was Dave's <laughs> switch. Oh, he's he's got a squirter too. Pop. <laughs> She's a, a squirter. We got a, we got a squirter. <laughs> She's on a Sibian. You gotta see this. <laughs> it's really good blood. Look yeah, yeah, I did the same thing as Mark. Obviously, I just used a bit of that uh, that fake blood, some studio blood kind of thing, and I did a bit of photoshopping myself for the for the blood spurting out kind of thing. But uh, wow. but yeah, yeah, I was obviously uh, inspired by the same scene. Mark and I talked about it pretty much right afterwards. As soon as I posted mine, he was like, "Motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, you copied no. my photo. <laughs> first, though, firsties, <laughs> you copied it first. I, I was going to do the same thing. No, it's, uh, it's obviously, like he said, man, it's like it's one of those hard photos. It's, uh, it's hard to avoid, man. Every every Puncher fan yeah, every central fan's yeah. going to want to try and do this. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. I thought it was uh, I thought it was essential. I, I, I rewatched the uh, the season, of course. I'm on my third time now. So Jesus. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Damn. It's so damn good. I just I can't not like it, man. Like, I, I just, you know, I'm starting to I'm starting to 
you know, enjoy the episodes that that weren't so flashy and stuff like that now too. Kind of uh, you know, catching catching parts I might have missed while uh, you know while cooking or fucking anything else. You know what I mean? So just yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm loving the show again all over, yeah. man. And I'm yeah. obviously inspired Who every time knows? I watch it. So. Um, just like Mark, you know, I'm on this uh, fucking huge Punisher kick myself, paying some crazy homage to uh, to the show with uh, with the new knockoff Mezco that I've got. So knockoff, doing, doing what I can. Nice. Dude. And no, no real issues with the knockoff at all. Not at all, man. Not at all. Wow. Man. Really I mean, cool. Really yeah. happy for you, dude. That you got it, man. Yeah. Honestly, like said, that's the only way you're gonna get sure. it. Unless you're gonna pay two hundred yeah. bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And so I used that. Uh, I used that uh, that desk dial piece that I got a while back at the Fan Expo there with you, Eric, uh, uh, from the fucking Gotham figure oh, yeah. um, in the foreground. I've got. To, I just tried to make it look like there was a there was a bit of a tussle happening around. So there's a knocked over desk. There's like a pistol on it. There's a you know um, a book knocked over in the foreground. A coffee. He's <laughs> tussling, all right. Why he does? He has short sleeves. Mine doesn't have short sleeves. I uh, cut it, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because honestly, I, the way I looked at it was was straight up that I have I have the Jim Lee Punisher that has the long black sleeves, and I have this uh, this Burnthal Punisher, the the Legends that has the long sleeves. Right. And quite frankly, the fucking Legends that has the long sleeves, the uh, the Burnthal there, I'm I'm loving the kit bash that I did with it, and it's honestly I like it better than my fucking Mezco knockoff. So. For, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm gonna be using that for a lot of long sleeve shots. Like shot. your so uh, your see, legend's body with the Mezco head on it. With the Mezco head and even the Mezco right. vest, the Mezco belt. Ooh. I've been I've been playing around, dude. It looks fucking wicked. And I put black wicked. hands on them, you know. So and I uh, I threw on um, uh, another leg holster on this guy. So mm. yeah, I played around with a lot of uh, a lot of kit bashing with these Punishers, man. And I'm just fucking loving it. Beast, so, I love it. Yeah, it so I, I decided to give myself a nice uh, clothed short sleeve. Play with your toys. Yeah. All in the Punisher, man. Yeah. That's good, dude. dude. Thanks, fellas. Thanks. All right, next pick. There we go. Ooh, Ooh. this finally came out. Yeah, so again, I mentioned uh, in my week there that I picked up that back in Black Deadpool. Mm -hmm. um, um, it came with a variant head too, which is very Carnage-like, very Venom-like, uh, with the symbiote it's, looking it's crazy and shit. Superior Venom, is it that is, what it's yeah, from? yeah, yeah. It looks fucking wicked, actually. I love, I love this figure, man. Like the more I, the more I play around with it, he's got like the the uh, what is it? The tendrils there. They actually have like little hands that hold the fucking swords really well. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, it's it's super dope, man. That's and, like, from he, the uh, Agent Venom that mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it came with that, of course. So. Yeah, in this photo, it's just uh, I've got a picture of uh, the Venom pool <laughs> that I like to call it, sitting on top of some uh, some dead ninjas with swords all butchered uh, through. Them. It's uh, nice. Well, it's very well lit. Yeah, thanks, Dude, man. the background looks great. It looks oh, like a fucking barrel guy. Oh, and, yeah, that's just, and that's just a printout. I just printed off a you know an orange sky background. Actually, I used the same wow. background for the uh, for the Lady Deadpool shot that I took a couple weeks ago that you guys yeah. might remember. Totally works, dude. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I used a bit of smoke there in the foreground, but. Uh, but yeah, pretty basic shot. Love I just it. I, I was inspired it. by a comic book cover for for the back. Yeah, I saw that. Was, yeah, so it, it was pretty similar to what I pulled off there. Um, his articulation isn't so crazy where I can right. get him to yeah, that would, have that that would, down would, on the yeah. bodies, but but so I had him leaning over, leaning up against the sword instead. Yeah, but he yeah, pulled it still, off. Still worked. In the comics, is he like buff, or can he like swap heads to another slimmer body at all, and like do a custom? To to be able to achieve Spider Man like poses, you know. No, no, no. He's he's very much like Spider Man. So he's kind of he? he'll like yeah he'll stay this body form, but he like he goes like crazy with the with the head shape and stuff like that. The symbiote kind of takes crazy over with the kinda, head shape. You know, it kind of goes carnage like where it's kind of just like you know, mm -hmm. it's Looks still dope, his body dude. type, but you know, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Fun. Thanks, man. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you artsy bastard. So this again, I, I I tried to go for like comic book cover. Uh, there's the newer wave of Punisher story arcs. Um, fuck, I can't even think of the name of it right now. Uh, yeah, it looks great. These we got Clay. Some props. Clay is gonna kill me right now. Vader's uh, Vader's phantom limbs. He's gonna kill me right oh. now because uh, we've been talking about this shit all week. But um, yeah, <laughs> this is uh, again inspired by just a, a cool comic book um, kind of cover <clears throat> combination. There's one where it's like um, Punisher's vest in the desert with a couple of vultures picking at it. 
So I kind of took the vet, the desert theme with this, and uh, and there's another one where it's just a, an all white background with Punisher's vest, and it's got the like an M4 kind of leaning, you know what I mean, leaning yeah. up against the background with a helmet, a tactical helmet, and uh, you know some clips, some magazines, and some bullets kind of sitting at the bottom, which I fucking slacked on, and I'm kind of pissed at myself. I noticed it afterwards, that, yeah, that like that I definitely could have threw some clips down on the ground and some bullets and shit like that because I have that stuff. So right. so what is next know. time, bro? Yeah, honestly. exactly. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I, I love the way this. this yeah, yeah, thanks. Nice. I like the way this picture Amazing. turned out. Again, another printout. I used this printout for a shot uh, a while back that I did for the 300 photo. I, I did a cool like kind of profile shot of Leonidas, but uh, I used the same background. <laughs> It just really worked well for this photo. I actually used some uh, some actual dirt there. I put. The, I was uh, about to ask that. Is that real yeah, dirt? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I used a dial piece and I just real dirt. dirt on top on on top of that. Yeah, and uh, stuck the knife in it and leaned the uh, leaned the vest up against. Uh, you know. Where do you buy real dirt at? <laughs> <laughs> in Canada, you make sure it's one of the dirt store. Hundred percent real. I get mine at Home Depot. That's okay. it. I was just gonna say Home Depot, man. I buy. In I get mine from the neighbors. Dude, I got jars of sand, bro. <laughs> right. I actually do now. I have two cups like sitting on my desk where it's like one dark dirt and one light dirt. <laughs> I got kinetic sand too. But, uh, the real yeah. dirt, though. That was it for that shot. Oh, and back, go back once, right there, Ryan. I actually had to uh, to pry off that helmet from um, from uh, what was it the uh, the McFarland toys yeah, for sure. uh, military head. So that turned out pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I had a couple people ask me what that was all about, so I pried that off, and now I that helmet actually has. It a lot of purpose for some other figures now because I dremeled out the little piece that was in the inside. There you go. It from sitting on some others, so it's going to go. Super sick, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty Jeez. pumped about that. Yeah, bud. Good job. Uh, yeah. And that's I just see you're still doing shit, man. Good. Going yeah. strong. Love it. Like a rock. You and cool dude. <laughs> So, again, this is just me showing off the dial piece that I was working on this week. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, super cool. yeah, obviously I'm excited to do some uh, do some cool daredevil shots with it and stuff like that. But yeah, that's just yeah. me showing off the dial piece. That's all. We can kind of graze over. Dude, that. it's fucking nice, man. Right? Nice, man. I mean, it's inspired small, me to get some. It's small, the water tower, but a skewed. I mean, you got it worked no, out. Yeah, I'll or? do some, I'll do sprint perspective shots. So it I'll try to put it in the background or some shit. Absolutely, it looks yeah. so good. Thanks, man. Can't wait for some shots. So this was my week or my month rather. Our my week. Fave, on, this is my week of the month. Fucking photos. These were your faves. These were Super my faves. Fucking photos. Oh, he didn't even use the tag though. I did. Yeah, he did. No. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he tagged <laughs> that. That's not his faves. Because you know he does, he might not he might he might fuck with that but he might not fuck with that. Yeah, I don't fuck with that <laughs> shit. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I always like the tag mark in that after. <laughs> Just say, that they're, just say that they're your, your most liked if you have a problem with fame. I don't fucks with that, Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah, these are all photos that we've all obviously oh, seen. So. You'll always be my fave, yeah. Mark. God damn it. And this was tonight's <laughs> post. Wow. Ooh. So, yeah, yeah I just... Cool, I, I was kind of I was kind of thinking um, Warzone with this photo. I don't know if you guys yeah. remember the beginning of the Warzone movie where he kind of just like yeah. pops up out of nowhere. Um, that's that's kind of what I was inspired by with this one. Just some just some thug outsider. Well, I kind of had this idea of him standing on top of the building, yeah. um, you know, clearing it out, making sure that the big boss man can come up to his chopper. So as the caption there, I've got him, you know, making sure that it's all clear. But Punisher uh, Punisher is going to show him otherwise. That's what I want <laughs> from Casting Cave is fucking Ray Stevenson. Yeah, right. He made one. Yeah, he made oh, one. Yeah. I've got Did it. Did he? Yeah. Because <laughs> I got it. Yeah, Wayne got it. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, so this is my, my swipe. Yeah, that's, yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is the kit badge yeah. that I was talking about there. So I've obviously got the uh, the Burnthal body, the Marvel Legends body with uh, the, the Mezco knockoff, of course, that I've got, uh, the vest and the, the belt attached to him. Yeah. Yeah, with Dude, the, uh, it looks like it's like a leather jacket or something. It looks high. Yeah, yeah. that's what that's yeah. what I think too. I think it kind of looks cool with that. Love nice. the lights. I have mine right here. It's so fucking nice, man. Yeah, yeah. Took see, took the normal jacket right completely off too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Looks so nice. Just works for this. Just yeah, for this figure with the vest. Lovely. That yeah, that's a McFarlane uh, military head right there. Yeah, another McFarlane military head that uh, Aaron that passed on to me. Yeah, that he uh, that Great I was doing stuff, for my division man. figures there, and obviously this is the division figure that I kind of made. Yeah, uh, yeah, just playing around with some shit. 
He obviously looks like a bit like a thug. Uh, one of my more recent pickups, that Gordon figure. I uh, I use the mic, the the walkie-talkie that he's got, so that's what's in his hand. Walkie. Dude, this figure's nice because it has a little bit of expression. It's like yeah, frowning. Yeah, yeah exactly. So cool. yeah, Thinking, yeah. doing something. So cool. For the photo. About to get his ass smoked. Yeah, it's over for that dude. Yeah, pretty much. It's <laughs> over. Very weak. Very weak he better dude. hope he didn't do anything that bad. <laughs> he, he deserves that B-roll. Right time, to get, time to get punished. <laughs> Awesome, bro. Great week. Thanks, fellas. Thanks. <clears throat> All right, let's ooh. hit it, Nick. All right. To the fire. Well, you got like that, like restaurant ooh. Ooh. You're like right. ooh, like 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 someone else's dish is better than yours. And that's like, and that's kind of like how the, that's kind of like how the music sounds too. They're playing it. Ooh. <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't still haven't seen this yet. Oh, this movie's really dope. This movie's really dope. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it is. Shot this at um, the Grand Canyon, uh, lit by the uh, the campfire. Nice. And then I just did uh, a long exposure because yeah, super fucking dark, and you have to just soak up all that light that's hitting them. And then I added that um, that like uh, twitching light effect with uh, that Werble app that Jared told me about. Nice. Yeah, I love it. It's so nice, dude. It's nice. It's just subtle yeah. and you know fun. I just. I just don't yeah, like that's all I was going for. Verbal takes away some of the the sort of the photography. I just, yeah, I just they don't take away nothing. Like uh, downgrades video quality so much. Yeah, it does. But you'll see the, I get the in the next shot, summer. I posted the still so you can see like the, the full image quality. For yeah. sure, yeah. Mm. Came out oh, yeah. Nice. Super 60. cool, bro. Mm-hmm. Thank you. He's a furry motherfucker. Yeah. Get that bear, yo. Kill the bear. Get that bear. All right, next shot. Ooh. Ooh. Nice location too, bro. Yeah, yeah. man. I, I pulled over on the uh, off the forty on Thanksgiving looking for a fucking some place that was open to get some food. Instead, Turkey. I found uh, this uh, oh. front town. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> that was a phone ring. Get some soundtrack. Yeah, I found this little frontier town and stuck uh stuck Clint Eastwood on the fence post here. Wow. How perfect wow. is that, dude? That yeah. turned out really good. Those little frontier towns exist. If you guys yeah, come out west, but... they're all over the place. They're yeah, like one they're was, like remnants one, and ghost yeah, towns and all kinds of shit. Jail, one here is like two hours jail, away. Beautiful shot, dude. Move. Great, great up. Uh, Taking advantage of that opportunity while going there for That's sure. Great, yeah, great, Thanks, man. It just happened to be golden hour <laughs> too, so I lucked out with the lighting. Absolutely, most yeah, fantastic. He was like, too, I was bro. starving as fuck taking this photo. Man. Dude, I was. I was like, I'm hungry, <laughs> but fuck it, I'm gonna take this shot. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> He's like, I'm all stoned and hungry, but I'm gonna take this photo here, Mick, real quick. Right, Mick, Not real quick. All <laughs> right, Mick. Very awesome. Oh, shit. This is nice. It's a fucking horse. Yeah. Leo and the fucking horse. That's right. <laughs> wow. Super cool, man. Going for some realism Perf- here. Perfect spot, too. Yeah, I like the... <coughs> that night he slept inside that horse. <laughs> he did. That night. Just his dick. It's a <laughs> <Trojan> horse. Naked. <laughs> it's a warm it up. I'm about to... Yeah, this was that big bear right by the uh, the lake, actually. <laughs> Probably like 30 feet away from the water. Again, you knew exactly where you were going, and you brought all the proper figs, dude. So yeah, cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, these, I ended up, I brought a bunch of figs, but I ended up only really shooting the, the one six shit. Right, oh, that yeah. That works, man. You took dude, advantage outdoor? of your bro. Gotcha. is perfect for one six, or, yeah, one six shit. Or one outdoor. four. Alright, next shot. I'm gonna take my Freddy outside. Ooh. No snap. Yeah. Wow. One Swearing all. off. Figure like Leo is like, uh, where'd you get that horse, Ombre? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me jack that shit for you. He's like, eBay, Padre. Find your sneakers, <laughs> friend. Get off my lawn. I heard you had a <laughs> fistful of dollars. Get off my woods. <laughs> get, off get off my, my lawn. Land. Are you eyeball fucking my horse, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Buttercup! 
you're staring at me. All I did was feed him some Funyuns, some chips, and some pink popcorn, and some watermelon, and some... You fucked with the wrong guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Get your stinking Ooh. ass off my land. Put a little bit of close-up action here. So you'd recommend these red man figs. I would, man. They're fucking highly detailed and not like a, they're half the price of a hot toys. That dude, that's not drunk right there, man. Yeah, man. I love the details on these figures. Yeah, it looks fucking good. You ever thought mm -hmm. about uh, building your own one six shit? Because that's what Dana did. She's like, I need a governor figure and just made yeah, it. Man, if, no, if I, I not. I really want yeah. something they don't make. Yeah, yeah. I could definitely find the clothes pretty easy. Like, yeah, hey, so now the, it's just the body, the head, and the clothes. Dude. Right. That's the cool thing about this one six game is, dude, you're, you're absolutely right. Make whatever you want. Uh, um, doll power. Like I don't know if you've seen like in her story. Hell yeah. She, yeah. All man. her fucking all the heads that she has. Like she all yeah. the heads. She puts yeah, it on the she's body. All and that's it. Yeah. She's yeah. like she's basically the me of one six. Trust right. me. We, we've that's gone that's we've that's gone that's like back and forth with collection pieces and accessories, and we battled one. We battled a couple times. Like <laughs> you know, I straight up had some underground battle, and like you got this, and she was like, "Well, I got this in this scale." Dude, like, all right, that's, I'll take it. That's the same right. draw as what C. Jessen was doing too. Yep. So like, oh, all he needs are bodies and heads now. You know. Yeah, after, man. After outfits, any body works. Yeah. Maybe one day he'll go to one sixth. I mean, that's that's See? kind of the, what Mezco's doing. It would be with easier them. technically because it's. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, love it, love, love it, dude. Love Thanks it. Cool. Keep it Next up. shot. Here Damn. we go. Sweet we setup. Yeah. Uh, I see him in the mirror too. Uh, right? The sick right. Bond custom that the uh, these damn toys gave me. Yeah. Thank you so much, What's Koji. You? It's just giving everybody the dreadnoughts head. Read the oh, caption. Ryan. Read the caption. Mad head. head. Mad head. I need to get some heads from Koji. Shaking, not stirred. You not will. Stirred. You will. You will. <laughs> Read it properly. Yeah, I got some. I uh, got some new props at Hobby Lobby that day. <laughs> got the, Got that little carpet. I never saw that there before. Dude. Uh, yeah, incredible. I was just thinking of thinking of like a kind of like a hotel room he might be staying at. Got I have some, that same carpet. Got some bro. liquor there. Yeah, carpet and liquor. Carpet Waiting liquor. for some bitches. Yeah, man. Waiting hey, for money penny to come over. Say it properly. Mesh money penny. Shaken, not stirred. Shaken, not stirred. Shaken, not stirred. I think that's the point. <laughs> Where'd you get the fireplace? Fireplace? Um, Diamond Solid. It's from. Uh, that is from one of the Gotham figs. The Alfred yeah. figure from the Alfred. Gotham series for Diamond Select. Very nice it is, piece. Eh? Yeah, just yep. so knowledgeable. Man. Super knowledge. Knowledge. So, knowledge. Nick, what you need to do for this one is go grab, the, at that fucking hobby shop, go grab some logs and get that green goblin logs. flame and put it on top. Mm. Dude, you're right. Get some yeah. logs. Get yourself some logs. That's it. Little these, uh, <laughs> logs. You know your little hobby logs. shop's got logs. Some little sticks you, and cut them up. Take a little shit in there. Yeah. Logs. <laughs> They sell little <laughs> logs at uh at Michael's, like four bucks for like a whole thing. Yep, yep. Oh shit! <laughs> little <laughs> logs. They like, come where they have snow and shit. Oh, yeah, got dude. Some. Very this cold, my friend. Nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, this is dope, man. Oh, He's about dope, to get man. fucked up, by the way, though. He is. Someone... Man. He's not chasing it with anything. He's taking no, it to the head. You know what? Mm. The, the the mirror reflection of him is nice. Yeah. Time. Dude. I was yeah. gonna say, yeah, dude. Thanks, dude. I was literally just about to say somebody commented on that, and I really like that mm. touch that you put in there, man. I, the random I like, awesome. Office I felt like that that like corner was just a little blank. Wanted to fill it in with something. Absolutely, yeah. trust your eye. Blank, your eye knows. Good All job right. on that, man. Good job. Thanks, man. Seven shit, bro. Seven. Uh oh, oh he's got the faves. faves. The faves. My favorite toy photos for November. <laughs> Ooh, so whose voice is that? <laughs> <laughs> that was Eric. That had to have been Eric. I think that was Eric. <laughs> it was my favorite, my favorite toy page for November. <laughs> this is kind of my, street with the streamlined stapler. These are my, my paper picks, guys. <laughs> anybody, anybody, anybody see my stapler? <laughs> I faved all these too. I put them in my faves, super saver. These are also my faves of yours, buddy. I'm uh, oh, my, <laughs> faves of your, my faves of your faves. 
I noticed you didn't like my photo on Instagram uh, and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I, I put stick nine in the guacamole. Yeah, I, I noticed you didn't like any, any any of these photos when I posted them the, the first time, so I, I put them again for you. <laughs> They're my fave. I posted them the toy pops, but not everyone liked my photo. Yeah. But I liked everyone's photo back. I only liked it once for the, the eight photos. <laughs> And Tony Pops told me I had to like all the photos, and I said, no, no, I do not like all the photos. <laughs> I, like, I like what I like. <laughs> I said, no, no, because I like, because the first time I liked everybody's photos, and they didn't like my photos, and I didn't feel like I had to like all the photos, so Tony Pops said, I said, no, Tony Pops, no. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna need you to go ahead. <laughs> we're gonna need you to go ahead and like a few more of these photos. Uh, <laughs> These are coming on Saturday. Oh like my god! Photos. Nobody, everybody that hasn't seen Office Space is like, what happened? <laughs> this show just went off the rails. <laughs> oh man, this is great you know, too. Oh dude, yeah, so yeah, many, bro. so many tourists were uh, like coming wow. up to me and just getting a kick out of this. Really? Some started, yeah, some started taking their own photos. If you scroll to the right there. Yeah, don't you love no, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's somebody else just like someone else attraction. Someone. <laughs> <laughs> she posts it on off. Instagram. She kicks oh, it I off. Like, yeah. I thought you knew her like she was with you. <laughs> you know what's funny too is none of these people credited you. No, you know what? No, 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 all no, these people posted not. these too. Lens kicked her the fuck off and then took his own picture. That's what I'm saying. They kicked his fucking shit off. Took a picture of her in mid air. <laughs> They were like, wow, your camera's so much bigger than ours. Dude, really fun. That horse right? is fuckable. Yeah. I mean, dude. It's, oh, like, yeah, it's it. fuckable. You I mean, were afraid it's going to like fly off like at the edge. Right. Yeah, like a wind right now. To, like two or three feet from the edge. I guess it's just like an optical illusion. You should have put like a big fake shit behind the horse. <laughs> illusion. <laughs> you sure what? Oh, what? Get some logs. Use like a yeah. Hershey kiss. <laughs> he said yeah, all like, of yeah. these people came up. They're like, wow, jeez. Uh, I'm posting this. They're like, Look <laughs> I want to do that too. I know. Jeez. <laughs> You started careers for all these people. They'll be much more successful than you yeah, in six right. months. Great. That's their first photo, and then all the other ones are shit after that. Right? <laughs> and you know, that, that's how, that's how you're, like, you're always like, you're like, where did this shit come from? Like, where the right. fuck is this bitch? <laughs> Nick, great week. Great. And Rodale, you made it back safe, dude. Oh, Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. Glad Thankful. your fingers didn't get kicked off the cliff. Right. Thanks for letting nope. us obligatorily do office space riffs. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> like Outdoor series. <laughs> it's a new Toy Pops new. This gym toys. This gym toys. Wow. Go Damn these toys. Oh yeah. It's my shit. It's my shit. It's so, never a good time for Bill Paxton. Headcast King. Headcast King. Game right over. <laughs> I Game love, over. I'm loving the Bill Paxton head. I'm going to use Bend it as over, soft bro. as I can. Bend over. He's all about that Buffy line too apparently. <laughs> I can't and that, do it, man. I can't do yeah, the, it. That's actually the, the angel line, line, honestly. Yeah, the angel line. Where the, let's be uh, super. Vacation. Let's be super. It's a series three diamond so like angel. <laughs> yeah, with actually added articulation to him. Yes. Beautiful. Those were not those static. Figures. That's the yeah. custom Burnthal head, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Some, uh, some dude on eBay. Some dude. Some He's dude. like, I'm the head man now. I'll, I'll head everything. <laughs> head of the family. No big deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That Mustang, man. Right. Yeah, thank you, uh, Yasuki, for all the tips on painting that Mustang. Actually, yeah, just like even like telling us where to buy it, what the brand was. Did you guys hear that nice. whistle in his teeth? Yeah. No problem. No problem. <laughs> where, does, where the hell did I buy it? an asshole. It's such a good figure. <laughs> I know. Shake it, not stirred. <laughs> What's <laughs> good? <laughs> We're talking to Gary Keeler here. Right. <laughs> I was taking these pictures down in Lake Wobegon, and then I was finger blasting all the interns. <laughs> Great stuff, though, bro. Good stuff. This is dope, Cody. Yeah, oh, oh, excuse yeah. me, sir. Do you have your pass to get uh, Bill Paxton? He's like, he paid me this week. Bill Paxton You're was tired of getting fucked. You're going to need to slow down there, Storm Shadow. I don't think you can get to this man. <laughs> I hired a ninja this time, you fuck off! <laughs> mm. What are we looking at here, boys? That's the uh, extreme sets. 
Borrowed a uh, borrowed it from Nick. Oh, up. that's the subway. Yeah, yeah, figures the subway. right there. Got a mixture of C. Jessum and icons, and want to make Bill Paxton the focus of it. So you some custom, lighting. Customize the icons there. Nice I see. Them. Yeah, yeah, for uh, for Storm Shadow, have some decals, might have some extras. Is that the No Gourmet figure body? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You just slap Bill Paxton on it. I Jeez. love it. You can just yeah, throw Bill Paxton on any figure, and it's, it's versatile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bill Paxton, GI Joe, as he's playing Duke in this one. He's just sweating. <laughs> throw him into a tornado. <laughs> Paxton has scope of money. Get yeah. me the fuck out of here. I love it, dude. Cool on cool. the Storm Shadow, man. Looks dope, dude. Right. Thank you. Run, Bill, oh. run. Fuck it, bitch. Nice subtle lighting. Oh, snap. Peace. Peace. Oh, Hey. All right, show off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no <laughs> it's really just been the majority wow. of my past. Yeah, it looks real good, bro. Fuck. <laughs> and That's Cast so King. Wow, Cast the Cave. Guy. Thank you. And uh, Bruce Lee won. Yeah, he actually released it for um, the proper icons. If you can just kind of... Can you right. hover over that? Can I what now? But it's, it's superior to the, the figure art size. There we go. Yeah. So you can get a, mm -hmm. actually like a you know proper icons. Bruce oh Lee yeah. The the Bruce Lee we got is really small. Is what you're mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. 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 This is a different, a completely one than it's not even the SH. Probably the Enter Bay or. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. Articulated icons almost put that figure out for us to do that with. You know what I mean? <laughs> put a Bruce Lee head oh, yeah. on his body. It's the same everything. Yeah. White socks, black shoes. Fucking. Yeah. yeah. But that'd be like super careful. Like, not even uh, making it too easy for someone to make their own Bruce Lee because mm -hmm. they would have been, like, sued to hell. Right. Yeah. All we have to do is get a p different head on it. That's all you did. So nice. A different head, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Just trying to put up a shot while I can, while I have this head wow. before it goes out to, to someone for their Hanukkah gift. <laughs> that Hanukkah! car is super chill. Shit. Nice. <laughs> Matzo balls. <laughs> yeah. Can they sit Pokemon. in that? Yeah. Can they sit in that car? No. Uh, I don't know, Yasuki. Couldn't they? You said they had to like modify the. Yeah. The driver's seat. The driver's seat has to get modified a bit to push back. Uh, you can push it back a little bit more, and it'll fit. The, the doors open and shit or no? No. No, yeah. you gotta fuck with them. Yeah, it'll we have to be a Duke's out. a hazard car. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You you can sure. cut them out and add door hinges. Yeah. Um, I sent the uh, yeah. hinges over. That's How easy would it be to cut open that door? Oh, you just get a one of those uh, Dremels one. for the um, and just slide around it. It probably won't be not super fucking easy, easy, but no. Koji, but yeah. Yeah. Yo. yeah. Is that Momo in the background? Is that supposed to be uh, Gary Dean Busey Ambrose. or who is that? Looks <laughs> like looks like, <laughs> looks like uh, Donald Logue. <laughs> it's Donald. It's Donald. You know that. You know that. Thanks about. That's what it looks like. No, Donald Logue actually has his own real action figure from the Gotham oh, yeah. line. Gotham. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotham. Yeah, that's that's Dean Ambrose. I had a uh, uh, eBay Dean Ambrose uh, one of the options. Oh yeah. Right this week. I see it now. Yeah. But, yeah. The head. That's a versatile head too. Yeah, that's a Dean. I thought it was pretty good for this shot. And when that extreme sets guy <clears throat> comes out, I'm redoing it. With this shot right here, inspired by that. I love that, the like, custom the Gary Busey. Scene. It looks dope. It's in John Wick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that too. That's even better. Point break shot. It's a point Do break shot the, right there. Do you see in the beach? <laughs> yeah. Shoot in the air. Great uh, week, dude. Yeah. Great week. I shoot the yeah. air. That's all I got. I cost him, bro. Love it, brother. Love it. Good shit. Keep this moving. It's great. Oh, oh nice. shit. Yeah. Ultimate Chucky. Great lighting. Yeah, this will take uh, 45 lighting. minutes, so for any of you who need a break from the podcast, uh, uh, feel free to... Uh, <laughs> that's we're we're going to keep it moving without shit. It's great lighting, though. Jeez. Yeah, it's one of the, those little cubes with the red little thing on it. Oh, you got the loom cube? Props yeah. Yeah. bio, man. That's what that is. Up in your and, dial. Uh, How are you liking little... that ninja or the... Uh, Ultimate Chucky, Ooh, bud. But, oh, he's okay. super chill, bro. I like him. I got another How one on the way. How would you give him? A lot. Really a lot. A lot. It's all about really everybody cool. wants multiples he's, of this. He's a cool little fig. 
Is it well, actually, not that I, I, I didn't actually want multiples, but I had pre-ordered one. And then <clears> when he came out, like I didn't want to wait and I wanted it. So I got it. And then I never canceled the pre-order, so it's on the way. Jesus. No, I was going to give it 1,480 <laughs> chills. Yeah. So, yeah. Very really nice, dude. Creepy as fuck. Nice, cool. <laughs> 10 out of 10 chills. New Figgy, too. Nice I, 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 had done this, I had done this, but I didn't put, like, you know... He had no blood on the thing, and then I redid it with blood. Mm. Nice. He had no nice, blood bro. on his blood. You watermarked blood that? On the knife, son. Huh? You watermark that last photo? Usually do. No. Mm, there's no butt in it. Caught slipping. No, I'm going to steal that real quick. Uh, no, there's no weed right. in it. He knows, yeah, nobody, yeah. He knows nobody's going to take no it one, if they know weed. Nobody, in want, it. nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. Even though I got fourteen hundred bucks, this is what they steal from me. This is what they steal from me, <laughs> dude. That Ralphie, I thought that Ralphie was like necessary, even for swapping the Kevin head onto it. Right? Yeah. He has a white sweater on in the first one, like half the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. great. This is fun, dude. I'm glad you got that fig, bro. You like him? Yeah, yeah. He's true. right. I like him. Yeah. You got the dad too. I have two twenty chills. Yeah. You have two. Kevin. You have to get him. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I he needs a friend, bro. These two, these two could chill together hard in real life. Dude, absolutely. Them, them two and Nuke. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's badass. Yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. Oh, my oh. faves. My faves, bro. Your faves. Super <laughs> faves. A lot of faves. That Chucky, though, with fucking Ralphie, too, is so wicked. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, 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 so kill me. Yeah, yeah no, seriously. Yeah, Chucky. Yeah, I'm I'm I want to play for sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill me, kill me. All yeah, right. Was, I've seen that on a shirt. Mom, he says he'll take my soul and I'll never be able to exist again. I can't wait. I hate this reality. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do, but he's going to buy me a Red Rider. Right. <laughs> he said I get a Red Rider, even in heaven. I feel wet. <laughs> I get all the Red Riders, kid. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Super. Oh, yeah. Right. Here's some child molestation about to happen. I was watching oh, it. <laughs> some guy in the comments uh... goes, looks like Bruce Wayne from the Gotham series. I didn't, hey. I didn't bother touching it. I was like, yeah. I, left, I, left that one alone. Yeah, I was like, it is. It was one of those moments where I was like, what do I do? Just triggered Doom. It just triggered him. Just nothing. Just nothing. There we go. There it is. Where is it? All right. I, I think I answered to him. I told him, yeah, it is. It looks yeah, it is. is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> That's definitely That's it. Fucking is. <laughs> You should have said it like this because it fucking is. <laughs> we have a winner. Nothing, get, nothing gets by this guy, huh? <laughs> uh, you're a steel you trap. Asshole. You're a steel trap. <laughs> that guy's last name is Bro, but it's spelled like a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I did two versions of this, and one with uh, uh, Kevin in this guy's place, but I was like, bro, it's, it was more, I don't know. I, I, I liked it better with this guy since he had the suit and shit. Yeah, man. This is do you have the bookcase, or did you get the, the Toys R Us version? No, that's uh, fourteen ninety nine. Nice. Yeah, that's all I got, too. I figure they never came out with it again. It's, like, it's super expensive now. Dude. It's oh, yeah. Uh, no, Everybody that wanted that bookcase. Everybody wanted yeah. the bookcase, but nobody Everyone uses the bookcase. bookcase. Yeah, like, I wasn't going to get it because... It was a Toys R Us and it didn't have the bookcase. And I was like, bro, fuck right. it. I'll, I'll, I'll print out a fucking bookcase. He goes, bro, fuck, fuck it. And the Extreme Sets has a bookcase anyway. Right. Oh, shit. You're making props now. You can just make one. <laughs> That's Where it. did those desks come from again? Those from... Uh... Hey, Miami. Um, yeah, hey, 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 Miami, bro. You got to glue those, man. <laughs> I lost so many of those little pieces because I didn't. Oh, no, I, bro, I, oh, you don't I, have to glue those. You don't. I, I, I keep. Had to. I keep them all in this little uh, Tupperware thing, and then I put them nice. right back in when I'm done using them. You know what he wrote on the top of that super Tupperware delicate. thing? He wrote, "Hey, my hey. <laughs> Where do you get your pre-orders? Hey, <laughs> this my fucking man. dude right here. <laughs> oh man, this fucking dude." This, uh, <laughs> He's alive! Perfect hibernation! <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I just seen this the other day and I was like, bro, you know what? You know what? And, and I saw this little box in Hobby Lobby. 
fucking and I did it's it. It's like a pencil but then, case. <laughs> it's a fucking but then, pencil uh, case. Uh, yeah, it's like a little, like you that little blue thing on top is there. like a strap. Yeah, it's like a little, I mean, it was in the little section where they have little cases. Little sandwich And I was like, cases. oh, shit. I was like, bro, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he sized it up. He was like, oh, my Han. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, my yeah, Han's going it. right in here. Lady's like, what's a Han? <laughs> oh, never mind. You're right. I got to go. I gotta yeah. Go. <laughs> and then this guy said, uh, uh, um, Nick, Lenz was like, oh, uh, uh, the wax. That would be good. To, yeah, too, but that would be fucking messy, bro. Yeah. I know. You'd basically ruin the figure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you would, basically. That would never come off, dude. What do you mean, basically? <laughs> Hell of a shot, though. Hell of a shot. <laughs> <laughs> but those likes, dude. Those likes. No, not that. that shit's getting reposted. Not, not this. I'm saying, I'm saying the, the one with wax. The one with yeah, wax. we know. Yeah. <laughs> we know. We weren't miffed about that by any stretch of the means. Oh. <laughs> he just wrecks his own joke. Right. No, no, no. He was like that one guy who's like, you get it? You get the joke? <laughs> no, the no, joke don't, that I don't. just told, you get it. Yeah. <laughs> don't get it. The, don't, the one you all laughing at. He don't get it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he don't get Junior is slow. He don't get it. You, you don't get it. You don't get it. Everyone else here gets it. We get it. <laughs> okay? Forget yeah, look, about that's it. The, that's, that's, the, that's the... There's the wood. <laughs> That's See, the Nick, wood right there. The logs. There's the logs. There's a little wood. Everyone logs. wants the log. Go to Michael's and get some logs. Why don't you go outside and get a little stick and break the stick? Oh, because my, I never even wanted logs. I was just in the store and I saw the logs. These are pre. The these logs. are pre-treated. He doesn't want to have mold it's start true. growing. I never. I, I, I was in the store and I was like, oh, shit, look, these little logs. I could, I could use these. <laughs> They're like two logs. Them. It's not like they're at seen? fucking. It's not like they're at the uh, lenses fucking store where it's like sixteen bucks for logs. These were like two bucks. Yeah, I think like four. Visual. Four. You paid four, four bucks for sticks. Four. Four dollars. Four dollars. <laughs> four dollars. Right. I paid four bucks for a shitload of sticks in a little jar. That's how they came. He I pays four dollars for that gelato every night too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that's uh, and that's Morpheus's chair too. Oh yeah. And that's, hey, uh, that's nice. Why did you just use it? And that's uh, candles for the candlesticks. Uh, that's the Hobby Lobby. It is. That one you got from Hobby Lobby. That fireplace. Yeah. And the uh, and the candlestick. Mm -hmm. Nice, dude. Nice. And it's all fake fire too. We couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I was miffed for a second there. That's that's, that's no really that's are. no Tomasi there. That's fucking fake fire, dog. That's fucking fake fire, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's some fado shop. That's not Photoshop. That's fado shop. <laughs> and these small words right here, these are real, bro. These are real tiny words. <laughs> and I fucking wrote that shit, bro. You got a little oh, crazy yeah. with the, you got a little crazy with the R there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that 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 that's freehand. That's that's that's, how, that's film accurate. That's that's freehand. <laughs> that's how it was in the film. I, I was actually like trying to find like I was like, oh, maybe you could get, make like, a, a little, stencil. Like, a, like I was trying to get like a little stencil thing, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna fucking. And then I got like a ruler, fuck it. and then and I got a ruler, and I did the I did the first line, and I was like, Jesus. bro, fuck this dog, fuck and I just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I just wrote it. <laughs> he goes, fuck it, I'm gonna get a thousand likes on this shit anyway. No, I just wrote it. it. No, because I saw I saw the, the the like the movie, it's it looks ghetto in the movie. So it I was does like, look ghetto in the movie. I was like, dude, that's it. <laughs> what happened to the fake fire? It went out? Yeah, fire's out. <laughs> he was I like, see. I gotta answer the door. I can't have the fire going when the door is open. Yeah. Blew up the candles yeah, like a door. gentleman. Yeah. Uh, see now There's what I'm curious what I'm curious though is I wanna see if my mom and uh would work, you know, because I have the NECA one. But I don't uh, know how I don't know if the scaling is oh, that, that looks, far off. She looks the one that came in the set or whatever, that one yeah. looks real little though. That one looks like it looks would be shorter. <laughs> no, I'm, she's I'm, pretty I'm, big. She's pretty big. Oh uh, yeah. The NECA mm -hmm. one, yeah. She doesn't have cloth, but obviously I think, uh, what's his name? Uh, he's Ralphie. What's his brother's name? Fucking. Uh, G. Lay. Must be Italian. But his, I have, <laughs> I have, I have the brother in, Randy in the coat. I have Randy in the coat too. I wonder uh, how they scale together. I don't think you okay. very well. I seen, oh, I had seen that set, like somebody selling that set, like opened on eBay and, and including this with the set. 
with has a little saw <laughs> yeah, bicycle, right. little saw tricycle included with it. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck is this doing here? <laughs> what is this doing here? <laughs> He's starting trends and shit. Ah, uh, oh, that's great. It's a major the un- award. The unpacking. Right, He's in the box too. Right. You had to write for Gile so many times, bro. Huh? You had to write for Gile so oh, many this times. Oh, this is freehand. And then, no, no, and then like <laughs> you got no, here's the thing. After this shit. <laughs> here's the thing. Then, then like as I'm like, cause I have rolled. Yo, with, fuck like, this pe- rule, like, yo. <laughs> Like you were running pencil. out of room on that Fred Gile. <laughs> you know, yeah, you did. <laughs> the curve, you had to curve it up. I, I, I wrote it, it down. I wrote it with a fucking with a with like a like a pencil, and then I would and then I would fill it in. But then I was like, dude, if I just like stay long with the marker on the board, that's what she said. It, stay long. It makes it fat. I don't gotta fucking fill it shit. So stay like, long. I, that's why I ran out of room. Like I got too fat. Like, for you gotta you gotta do the first and the last. You gotta size it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I I started I started off real good, bro. And then, he goes, no, you know? it was ghetto in the movie. <laughs> right there, the, 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 the uh, you That's know, right there, the, the A looks like I was starting I to run into trouble it. there, or the R. The R was like downhill after the R. That R is killing you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, those R's are hard to do, like oh, freestyle. Are they really? <laughs> are they really? They sure are. Your name too. Yeah, these not these knots are not <laughs> easy. This end. This end. Oh man! If anything, uh, you provide a lot of entertainment on your weeks, at least for us. Uh, We're not uh, laughing uh, at you. We're laughing with you. We're laughing. It's a big difference. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was it. He goes, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Dope star. Amazing shit. Dude. What a setup. Bro. Whatever. I sent Eric a three year old picture of me using this fucking figure. He's like, yours is still better. I'm like, and is that, uh, uh, you're right. What's going on on the floor there? Is that like saran wrap or real water? What's up there? You know he made some turkey. I knew I wanted to do another glamour shot of this. Uh, th- this is a Fizen swamp thing I got, like I mentioned. And I knew I was going to do a glamour shot, and I knew I wanted to do the same technique as I did with that fucking Navy SEAL. So I built up a little base, made some fake water with the fucking uh, food wrap. Mm. Love it. And just built up, built it up, boys. Just built it up. Super simple. He's like, then afterwards, we used it and put some fucking baked turkey in there. It was delicious. I, uh, yeah, it looks good. It looks like fucking water, bro. Right. I mean, that's the idea to get him in like knee deep swamp conditions. Um, and you just tuck in little dial pieces in the edges there, right? And you kind of create some distance and shit too that way. Mm-hmm. But, so you got them at like hobby stores? Dude, the one is like a McFarland piece that I broke those trees off of. It came with that. Remember that, that mini, mini spawn that was shooting that huge beam at that monster? Mm hmm. So like, it's, yeah, it's just like broken dial pieces and like just, just pieces, dude. Just That's building cool. up the picture with all kinds of random foliage and shit. So you're the foliage yeah. king. This got way more love and shit than I thought I was going to get, though. But I really appreciate it. No, but well deserved, man. Mm-hmm, yeah, for sure, well deserved. Picture, yeah, Look at that shit. It's Don't crazy. be surprised when you take a hype shot that people are gonna like, especially this figure. It doesn't get. I mean, it doesn't get the love. Was, that's what happens, bro. You take good shots. People like them, bro. <laughs> and I mean, people figure. like them. You sound you know like what? Hiplo now. <laughs> it's like James, Van, James, James Vanderbeek. You mean? Barrel on <laughs> barrel on getting likes, bro. You just take good shots and post them. <laughs> <laughs> the um, again, Super. Uh, people love this, and you know what? Shout out to the Four Horsemen. They made this. They mm-hmm. sculpted this figure here too. They sure did. Dude, the little flowers and shit on this. So oh awesome. yeah. In the back, there's all like little like pods growing and shit. Dude, like yeah. Oh yeah, there is. Everything's like, colored perfect. And there's some yams on his shoulders. Straight up, dude. <laughs> He's got edibles. He's definitely <laughs> twigging berries and shit. Well, yeah. Thank you guys uh, for Thank the you. love on this. And uh, we'll go next show. Super killjoy. And this Ooh. is where I started, uh, my, yeah. started my Home nice. Alone journey. Yeah. He's like, and I went and busted that cherry wide open. Mm-hmm. So, so is looking... part of this a printout, or is this all no. Oh, that's all dial, oh. yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. Right now, unbelievable. And 
train out the nervous on people, bro. We're the nerves. Nerves. How, dare <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Amigos style Home Alone figures from NECA, Harry and Marv doing their thing in some houses before uh, the main plot starts going in the movie. I love that scene because it shows them like burglarizing the house and shit, you know? Yeah, That's what they do. They're burglars. They burgle. And again, utilizing what the, comes with the figures, they come with these prop pieces, and you know, why not use them, right? I lost yeah, that little man. piece. That's I lost a, a little bit of my movie. heart. No, no, I lost that little thing there. Oh, yeah, you was, lost that? Yeah, that little, little collide. You, find it. you know yeah, what I did? Little, I think I his threw little away. Scope. Didn't they <laughs> both come with black bags? Crowbar. That's what they're, yeah, crowbar. That's what they're holding. Yeah, I, lost, that's what they're... I lost one of the black bags, but I have all the other accessories. I mean, the black bags are pretty cool. They're kind of almost generic. Like, I've yeah, had they them. are. I've had them before. I'd rather like have the kaleidoscope thing. Fuck you, Barrel. All those pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the size difference between these two. They're nice and perfect they scales. They are. That, that Joe Pesci is like, I wish they would come yeah. out with more figures in that scale. Like, oh my God. more shorter. You, you, you can know, almost get like Migos. a custom fucking um, Danny DeVito head. Yeah, I was going to say, I was gonna say if you came out with that, that, they could make Frank a Danny Reynolds. DeVito out of that, out of that figure. <laughs> For sure. And or Kramer great. with that uh, Ramar figure. Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Kramer right. It looks like he's got the puffy shirt on too. So yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, and Danny DeVito for your always sunny lineup. For yeah. anything. Let's man. keep going in this home alone journey, guys. This oh is we fun. are. Yeah. So, oh there, yeah. what's wrong with this photo though? Oh, oh no. <laughs> he pepperoni. only eats he only eats cheese pizza. <laughs> oh, Mm. Not movie it's still, uh, it's still awesome. Yeah, but he didn't have any left over, remember? That's true. And that's uh, oh, Ron Burgundy right there. Right? Yeah, it is Ron Burgundy. I love that you got enough of these figures, too, to start doing, like, you know, these type of shots with this I to have, like... Utilize some across the table, but that never ended up in the shot. Actually. Oh, okay. But yeah, you're right. I'm utilizing these Migos. It's great, man. I'm and that's Clark, that's Clark next to him, right? Yeah. Yep, and then sure. little, little Timmy over there. Yeah. To give like an idea, like is even a smaller kid running around and shit. Mm -hmm. Just you, like got the, you got the coke on the table too. Yeah, yeah. You know you something simple, <clears throat> and something to try to utilize the, what the figures came with too. Like I realized I didn't get the little Nero's focused in there, but you get in, you know what it is. It's not even that it. quality of a box either. So it's I'm kind of I like it better mm -hmm. that it's actually kind of mm -hmm. fubbed out because you're it's you're you're leading your eyes. You don't want to lead away from people staring at the box. You want them in their focus to be on him eating the cheese pizza. Yeah, he's eating the, the pizza focus, slice. The focus, you know, you shouldn't have your eyes being drawn, like, conflicting between those two images. Yeah. I hear uh, Little Nero's ain't that good either. <laughs> yeah, Little Nero sucks. They, they hit your fucking shit when they drive <laughs> up. Well, this is Kevin settling for pepperoni pizza. He's settling. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Let's keep going on this uh, Home Alone shit. I love, I love it. Uh, you're, leaving, you're, leaving no room, scene. you're leaving no room for me, son. <laughs> Matching all the good scenes. I know. I'm, I'm going to keep going, too, with those I'm next gonna week. I'm going to have to bite them. Need to yeah. set some traps. You did it nice to, and early, too. I mean, I don't know where I'm going to go with these next, but I'm just going to let it grow organically. It's what I usually do. Just try to look over what I have and what the figures come with and what they're doing. You know what? Last year, I shot the, the upside-down toilet scene. I want to see you try to do it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, I, I mean, the upside-down toilet is Home Alone 2. Still. Yeah. The, uh, we're, we're doing Home Alone 1. <laughs> we're doing Suck Home Alone 1. Thanks, buddy. But thank you. <laughs> you but yeah, before. honestly, I, uh, I used some action figure plastic like boxing plastic for nice. the window i put some baby powder on to give a frosty look i made it like they kind of try to rub towel. it out i said yeah a towel. I, thought you, I thought you did some rails off it and then used the window he did that's that's my leftovers <laughs> yeah. i did a big fucking hollywood off it first <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, I mean, I, I settled with this uh, portrait style shot. I actually like the horizontal shot better. But I ended up posting this one. You can see a bit more of the figure and kind of what's going on. It's not like a direct fucking thing from the movie at all. It's just kind of, you know, pretty close. What I had. It's close, I yeah. I, I utilized the one window piece I kind of do have that's going to work that way. And 
built it up so it was a nice outside look. Did you rub a riddle a little bit around Joe Pesci's face there? Like yeah, to make it, yeah. Make, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did it around Marv too, it's just harder to notice a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. I like it though, it works. You so you can see his face a little better. And I mean like they rub the frost away themselves. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So thanks so much guys. Again, let's go fucking look at more home alone shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> here's like, and oh here's like af- after the they did the look in the window scene, and when they're like, "Hey, did you remember that kid we almost hit the other day?" He's Is up he? in here stroking his wiener. Yeah. Should we be looking in here on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There he is, a little, <laughs> yeah, little kid, yeah. Santa Claus. Just trying to like you know stretch what these figures are doing and. Even kind of keep it a little bit in order as what the movie goes to. This is the it's, most you've shot of any figure ever. We're all enjoying right? it. Right? You know what? People, this, this, everyone seems to like the little series, you know? So yeah. I'll keep it going. Like, I love, love, love Home Alone. Like I said, I Me watch too. it. If, whenever it's on, it's going to be watched. And uh, we, we even went out and bought the DVDs, like one and two. Just. For when they're not on, we can be watching them. See, now my problem is like, <laughs> like if if they made an Eddie, I would be fucking shooting National Lampoon like for all day. But it's like they only made right? fucking yeah, Connor. man, damn you know, Eddie if all back, day, dude. <laughs> yep. If we go back on Eric's feed, we can see that like all the shots are no reused figures. But now we've got this like fun little series of Home Alone now. <laughs> Guys, you know what? <laughs> Never fucking fall into a rut i guess you know just try to keep the... if i had a rut that i wasn't shooting figs twice here you go here's six in a row of different go. scenes you know what i mean just, yep. that's part of fucking that's part of nice changing it up once in a while like even like doom and lens are doing with the fucking dollies you know Switching oh they're uh oh, they're action figures i mean these are they're just as big as fucking these are just as much dollies as those things i think these Migos. They are. You know. But Same next photo, up. please. Thanks, guys. I love you. Oh, Great this goes. is fucking <laughs> so, <laughs> so good. That's love great, it. bro. So we got, we're looking at Home Alone show here on my week, and we got Marv peeking his head in the fucking dog window. Man. The doggy door. The expression on their faces matches up perfectly, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you didn't use, like, the open mouth. You wanted to use the confident Kevin. Dude, he was super confident. He was yeah, super he was cocky like, at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. He had him dead to right. This is For perfect. Sure. Eric, um, you were super proud of the shot. <laughs> he was cocky I, when he shot it, too. He had the same look on I, his face. Yeah. Hey, what do you mean I was super uh, what, what? I'm not super proud of my shot. Oh. I, I, I use what I try, have, and, like, dude, this is super ghetto. He was like, like I, oh, he's like, I whipped myself spell, in the back. I flailed myself after I shot you this. Don't even understand how ghetto this is. Like, uh, is he? Is he? Is this head even on the body? No, no. It's just, <laughs> no way. I'm it's, just saying. I'm just saying. Floating. You gotta be happy with the way the photo turned out. That's yeah, all. It's I mean, yeah, perfect, dude. Though. I mean, I've been doing it for a bit now. I try my best to like just at least capture something with the figs, you know, related to what, what they're fucking doing. I, I wish I had an outdoor like stairway for Mar or. Harry to slip on, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I yeah. might build one. I might build one actually. Hobby you might Lobby build man. some slippy shit. What Hobby Lobby has some fucking stairs? Yeah, yeah, dude. That's yeah. how I did the McLean. Put them together. Oh, put them together. Oh, Just buy yeah, two of them and glue them together. I'm gonna be doing that sort of. Yeah, later. bro. That was I see now. That was my edge because I got the stairs. I did that uh, a couple years ago, but. Beauty. Now Beauty. it's a race. That's a long way. Dude, I need a little iron too for this guy's face to get hit yeah, with an iron. The Hobby Lobby too, man. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. But yeah, thanks so much, guys. Let's keep oh, it going. Yeah. My last picture I posted. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. dude! Perfect. So I'm utilizing the alternate hair or hairy head, hair. which is the, the burned fa- uh, top of his head with the fucking painful expression, dude. <laughs> like I said, it needed to come with a fire piece, and this fire piece actually works perfectly. It for does. Him. It does for sure. <laughs> and he did. He needed it. Just just hold it really retreat for photo. Just <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just really built up the picture around the figure and uh Why did my do best. You build me up. Is that a fire a... Yeah. Dude, it's actually yeah. it's 
It looks like one, but it has like a skull and crossbones on the front of it, so I don't know what the fuck it is. You know <laughs> right. what I mean? So, but <laughs> seeing it was, like, it was like a tank thing made me use it for this. So. He said thing. Right. Yeah. I have fire going from the nozzle to the fire in the front of it, and like, yeah. Just build up the picture, Work, kept it home alone theme, like, you know. Love it. <clears throat> Thanks, Little Pepsi. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, thanks so much, guys. That's my week, and uh, I love you guys. We love you, too. Keep the series going, man. Oh, yeah. More coming to, out of these guys, for sure. Good. Fuck. <laughs> that is it. Oh, was that actually everybody? <laughs> wow. That's everybody. We actually All made right, it so too. we'd like to thank you, Yasuki. It's your first time being on the Action Toy Art Podcast. Thanks for sticking it out with us. It was really great to talk to you, man. We're all huge fans of your artwork, and uh, you're a welcome dreadnought. For these damn toys, lenses on figures, Sharkman Dave, Barrel Murado, Eric Plays, The One King, Junior Doom, and myself, Mark. Again, this is episode 146 of the Action Toy Art Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Check us out on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, YouTube. Check out the ATA various pages. Comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Do not get caught slipping. Use the ATA Treadnoughts hashtag. We out. Peace, bitches. Peace. Peace. Or cool people. Like not using our hashtag? Well then, don't expect to get featured, Momos. If your girl loves our show, she's a keeper. A stands for action. That's what you'll get here. T stands for toys. Sometimes we talk about them. The other A stands for art, as in, we should figure out what that is. Thanks for listening to the show. For some great toy art, you can check out ATA Dreadnoughts on Instagram and Facebook. Remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe to our show on Podbean. If you'd like to ask us any questions, leave a comment and we'll make sure to answer on the next episode. You record already, dude?